Heather. Hello. I'm back. It was the wild hunt. Uh, I know I decided to make the op the intro like that. Hello and welcome back to the wild hunt. My name is Beast today. We're back with uh, a new game. Guardians of Daybreak. Akatsuki no Goe. This is the Trinity Complete Edition, technically, because the translation is all they did is only for the Trinity Complete Edition. It's just that uh, when you press on the little start button here, this has been translated completely. This has been translated for only the prologue, and this has not been translated at fucking all. Also, I have no idea who any of these characters are. I haven't checked out this game in the slightest, except for some funny references I saw that made me want to play it. But alas, I'm very easy to sway. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna do cookbook keeping for part ones, namely uh, for like a uh, uh, for this uh, part at the very least, namely for the next few first parts of the series probably even, because uh, I will put a dis uh, link to my second channel down in the description. It exists in case. Oh, funny, woohoo, wacky visual novel things happen again. Where YouTube decides to strike me for no fucking reason. So, yeah. Anyways. The tra translation for this was made by... Uh, what was it again? Fuck, should probably look it up real quick. Oh, that's a Beholder video. It is made by... It's it's translated, I mean, by... I should say... It doesn't say the name of the people translated here. They break translations, apparently. Which are actually also translating Giniro Haruka right now, so that's also something to look forward to. Which, by the way, the moment Giniro Haruka is, has the fan translation finished, I will play it. And nobody can stop me. Now it's already wasted three minutes now. I'm gonna turn up this fuck it. It is already turned up to three. I'm fucking HA And we'll just be starting with the game now. Opening immediately? Okay. By the way, this game can get mildly fucked up at points apparently if I remember correctly. You have to watch the opening in case there's things to censor in the opening.
right at the fucking end, Jesus. McQuaint. Memories are but a hazy and treacherous fiend. They tend to create emerges of self-defense, hiding truth from your own consciousness. The first thing I was taught when I reached the age of reason was to doubt others. The only one I could trust in this rotten world was myself. Even the man who taught me that warned me about placing my trust in him, too, since sooner or later everyone betrays your trust. Or so he told me. I loved that man. How could I not? And even so, I couldn't stop trembling when I heard that. How many is what the world have to be for him, of all people, to say something like that? There's so many others in this world like me, and I couldn't trust a single one of them. I thought to myself. That was his truth, and he declared it straight to my face as he caressed my hair, his dark eyes forever plaguing my memories. I don't think this last year has been boring for me at all, to be honest. Is that blood in the fucking background down here? <laughs> Every day has been a f new experience for me, keeping me busy enough to not even know if they were indeed boring or not. That's the main reason I've been able to withstand this year, at least. Anyways. I'm walking through a rather peaceful street, nothing out in the ordinary. <laughs> yeah, just f f nothing weird going on, you know? It's just fucking every day, every day is, uh, every, everyday occurrences. That is until several people start making a scene, drawing everyone's attention. Oh yeah, I haven't actually like changed any of the sound settings. I uh, immediately put that to max. Put that like down a bit. Put that like down a bit. Put that like up a little bit. I don't actually have think that we've heard any music yet. Alternatively, I'm just going fucking insane again. Wouldn't be the first time. Hey, go, come here. Come on, Ah, there we go. There's the music. I should turn up the system voice again. Why is the system voice. Oh, system volume, not system voice. I'm fucking stupid. There's two black men in black. Uh, there's two men dressed in black shoving a young girl into a black van. It's past noon, by the way. They're doing this in broad daylight. Either they have balls of steel, or they're a bunch of retards desperate for recognition from their boss. In any case, they catch my attention. They look menacing, alright. I uh, like that matters, though. More importantly, I just realized that this is the first time I'm seeing a live abduction take place right in front of me. I wasn't gonna try to help this girl. I guess they're too shocked to do anything. Normal people don't usually get to witness things like this. Basically, no one seems to be in the mood to do anything for her. That's how things are, I guess. If I was a random dude, I definitely wouldn't risk my life just to be here for what's her face over there. The easiest way out of it out is to pity her for a few seconds and then reason to what and then return to whatever you're doing. That's how people are. Look at them recording the scene with their phones, trying to ignore the situation, looking at the dumb scene dumbfounded, not knowing what to do. Even if morally speaking, saving the girl would be the right thing to do, the vast majority of people tend to decide the re reasonable way to go about this is to not get involved at all. Then that becomes the new right thing to do. Which makes the actions of everyone watching this the normal thing any person would do. <laughs> She's in danger, here I am, calmly assessing the situation from a distance. She's definitely not going not going to get abducted without a fight by the looks of the look at things. She's wearing a school uniform that I know all too well. They, sk uh, they skirmish and shout at each other for a bit, but one of the men slaps the girl's face and quickly shuts her up. The girl cries out in pain as her cheek flushes crimson. <laughs> I'm gonna get taken away just like that if I don't do anything. This will end up in either her family paying a ridiculous amount of cash for her to be returned, or, well, for her to be returned in pieces. I can't rule out other possibilities though, maybe they're part of some cult that wants her for whatever reason. 
In the end, they managed to shove her into the van. Just a few more seconds and life will return to normal around here. As if nothing happened at all. Now let me be clear. I'm just like the others. Self-preservation drives me and keeping myself safe is a priority of mine. I'm not driven by any moral compass. And even so, I run chasing that black car. I catch up to it as I extend my arm towards it and latch myself onto it. Why would I do that, you may ask? The answer is simple. Because it's the opposite of what everyone else would do. Because it defies all logic. Because deep within, all I long for is a, di is a different world. Two weeks ago. <laughs> I like how his, his reason reasoning is like, you may think, why would you do that? That's a weird thing to do. Why the, you just explain that why, what it is everyone else would do and said that self-preservation is your only thing. So why would I do that? Well, because I fucking hate the common consensus and I wish for true fucking chaos! <laughs> Alright, this sound thing is too quiet. Better. <sighs> I really don't want to miss the Yamanota line because I think it takes an hour for the next train to come. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it doesn't sound like a bad idea to be honest. <sighs> <laughs> Just go ahead without me, I'd rather sleep a bit more. Yeah, yeah. Well, Gyoto. Population, crap, 2.3 million. Place anyone could certainly categorize as a metropolis. City where dozens of dreamy youngsters filled with hope from the countryside arrive every day, only for them to be met with nothing but to stay up air and constant setbacks and leave shortly after. Nevertheless, the city's population does nothing but increase every day. Ah, uh, two reason as to, uh, reasons as to why it's happening. First one being that Kyoto happens to be the city where quite the amount of big up corporations have their HQs. Since they constantly demand more workers, there's always jobs available. The second one is because the rapid increase in population has naturally led to an increase in crime rates. The city of Kyoto is famously known for being at the forefront of crime fighting across the country. And when crime is afoot, it means that there is a need for police, bodyguards, and all kinds of security. More so than any other city. The city is mainly known for being the first one that took serious reforms regarding crime unlike the other regions from countries country which were led by a false sense of security, believing that they were safe from acts of crime. In the end, that caused more instability than anything else. The price of, la of the land rose to such a degree that other cities weren't able to keep up with it. The rich got richer and the poor got poorer. For the first time in the century, the differences between the standards of living became so huge that they reached the point of no return. Nothing can be done about them now. There's a new air this new era is ruthless. Walking alone as a woman can easily mean certain death. People don't trust each other anymore. All that's left is doubt towards your neighbor. The worst part of it all, doesn't look like things are gonna improve anytime soon. Crime itself is something that is mostly overlooked no nowadays. Politicians only legislate for a small portion of the population. Those who are privileged enough to live without fearing for their lives. Japan has decided to give in to its own darkness, choosing the path of pure neglect of its own glaring issues. Is there any future for our country at all? Knowing all this, at some point, you may ask yourself then, when did things start to go south? Since I did ask myself that question, I looked it up, eventually finding an answer in a book. It was written by some obscure philosopher, I don't remember his name nor the title of the book to add insult to injury. His contents were nothing more than petulant bullshit, a plague with techno babble that spanned endlessly enough to induce sleep to anyone who reads it. I do remember a couple of sentences from that book that still linger in my mind, though. Humanity's DNA has been corrupted through mutations wrought by the passage of time. Along with, we must protect the very essence of our humanity, guiding it to an untainted form, or all is lost. Those two sentences I definitely liked. There I am. 
find myself in front of an extreme uh, extravagant extravagant gate representing the people who reside here. The lucky ones get to live without fear. Written on the top of the gate is the name of the institution, Renault Academy. Renault Academy happens to be the elite school I enrolled in last year. Don't get me wrong, though. It's not an elitist institution because the students are geniuses or anything like that. It's an elite institution because families of students are loaded enough to be able to afford the tuition. I don't fit into that criteria, though. I'm far from rich, let me tell you that. In fact, I'm pretty sure my net worth is as high as the trash cans. Okay, maybe I went too far there. It's never good to deprecate oneself. Uh, gotta keep that in mind from now on. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, I'm far from being rich myself, so uh, how am I here, you may be wondering. I walked through the garden, which leads to the main building. They've made it evident from the moment you entered this place, you'd get slammed by the notion that this is a top-class institution. The academy happens to be placed within its own campus. Gigantic plot of land, its garden perfectly taken care of, with a pathway leading to the main building located at the center of it all. You can smell the faint scent of freshly cut grass, as well as the smell of perfume as I walk past the garden. All of these experiences are carefully tailored for you to believe that this academy is far beyond what a normal institution feels like. See that rock over there? For all no, I know it could be famous and cost millions of yen. Makes me want to snatch it for myself and fuck off from here. Unfortunately, I don't think I'd get that far if I tried pulling that stunt. I definitely would ne end up getting killed bef before taking a step outside the academy. There are cameras placed everywhere. If I so dared to make off with that rock, an army of security officers would be swarming the area in a matter of certain seconds, arresting me on the spot. Imagine ruining your goddamn life just because you tried snatching a fucking rock from here. Everything here is monitored. Even if, if even a single ant stepped inside the complex, then the guards will be informed. And don't get me started on the security measures, or measures placed on the restrooms and locker rooms. There's a reason behind all of the security, though, believe it or not. In the last few years, there have been numerous incidents where rich crews have been kidnapped by syndicates. I think I mentioned this before, but this area that we lived in is far from peaceful. Normal academies tend to not have enough protection for the worst case scenarios. When it comes to rich kids, the worst tends to be a gang of people barging into their academy and kidnapping them. Anyone with half a brain knows that. Just turn on the TV and watch the news to get a reality check. That's why this academy is different. There are cameras everywhere. The institution is placed right next to a police station, and in case of emergency, special forces can be deployed on site within a matter of minutes. You're gonna have a very rude awakening if you try to force your way inside here, inside here with ulterior motives. And in the unlikely situation that someone would be able to get actually get inside the academy, they would still have to deal with students like myself. Hmm. Look in the direction where the voice came from. Like I'd ever do that. Kaito, then I'd have to go to the academy. Oh, really? What I'm talking to right now is none other than my roommate. He's quite the oddball. I'm not a big shot or anything like that around here, but he still makes the effort to talk to me from time to time. I feel pretty neutral about him. He's definitely not my friend or anything like that, but we talk more so because uh, more so because of our current situation, aka sleeping in the same room. I, I don't believe that that's a I don't I don't I don't believe that that's a dude. That's a lass. He's pretty smart and he's the best swordsman in our entire year. Definitely a force to be reckoned with compared to me, considering I'm bottom of the barrel in our year. You mean who we'll be working for, yeah? Yato are saki? Ma, you want to see Koto Avakarno. Okay, maybe I wasn't as specific as I would have wanted, so. Say Kakuni Eba. What I statue by Yato are Ruaki than I daro? Kuyo, Morau Wakedemo, Hosunga Tsuaki de Monaino Dakara. Yes, you're right. What does you ask Kosi Simpida? My grades being shit and all that. So, Janai. Domo, my wa, Kin Chokan, you kakerunda. So, did the Hontoni bodyguard of a stomarnoka? No clue. That's not a word someone says in their everyday life. Bodyguard. 
It happens to be the occupation both Kaoru and I are aiming for. It's a prestigious line of work, one that consists of risking our lives to protect those who will become our clients. Why would the word bodyguard even come up in a normal conversation between student, young students, though? The reason is simple. The normal academy is not your run of the mill institution. Rich kids come to study here not only to get an education and be constantly protected by its top-notch defense mechanisms. There's also They also study alongside their own personal bodyguards who will be talk, protect them even after the education ends. All future bodyguards who enroll here are men. Women are not allowed to follow this path. Exactly. That's why this person before us is acting like a man. Meanwhile, women tend to be on the other side of the spectrum. They are the rich kids. There's no way around those two things. If you're a girl and want to be a bodyguard, then good fucking luck. If you're a rich guy who wants to study here, same shit. There's a big reason as to why the system has been implemented. Imagine if you had your safe full of cash protected by the police within the safety of their station 24-7. Now imagine having your daughter being not only a completely safe... Uh, in, uh, being in not only a completely safe area but, area, but also constantly protected by someone else. And then someone else being a trained personal bodyguard. Just realizing how amazing, quote-unquote, this place is. Uh, I don't really want to talk about this. Plus, Kaoru seems to have something else on his mind, too. So, I'll ask him about that instead. You been looking forward to today? Uh. Looks pretty confident, but at the same time, I notice a glint of doubt in his eyes as he stares at the academy building. Oh, that doubt vanishes within seconds as Kaoru returns to his normal self. Showing so much hesitation will only lead to you eventually screw up. Uh, will only lead you to eventually screw up, dude. Nanda, so no shigusa to. Jikaku nai no wa kangae mono da yo na. Ore mo nando osoi so ni natta koto ga. Oh Yuki. Ohayo sa. Ohayo. Now we got another potential CG. Let me just yoink that.今日も一段と女に見えるな、カオルは。身体的特徴を侮辱しないでくれ。生まれながらのことに関して、私にはどうすることもできない。そう あれだけジロジロ見られれば気概にくい。本当か？レオ学園七口の一つに実はカオルが女なんじゃないかってのもあるくらいだぜ。付き合ってられんな。Yuki wasn't even mentioned. Hasn't even mentioned how his voice sounds feminine. I'll only say this because we'll stop being roommates soon. But let me warn you, Yuki, Kaoru is bigger than yours. Okay, so it is a dude. I nod. Oi! There's been quite the amount of dudes who've tried to mess with him while he's asleep, but then they realize their blades were meager in, compa in comparison to Kaoru's. They couldn't help but cry and run back to their rooms. Scary, ain't it? <laughs> Says Yuki as he trembles. Don't ask me. As he covers his face, now colored beet red, he quickly heads towards the main building, academy building, leaving us behind. Having a big dick brings its own set of issues, though. <laughs> if you had it big indeed, too bad you don't. This guy's name is uh, Yuki Nishikori. Nishikori, I think it is supposed to be. Just like Kaoru and I, he enrolled into this institution to become a bodyguard. He's pretty exceptional compared to the rest of the students, though. Looks can be deceiving after all. No one believes me when I tell them at first, but Yuki is not human. 
Like, literally. I'm not kidding. He's an android designed for the sole purpose of protecting someone. He was developed by one of those gigantic corporations, and he's the latest of their creations. He acts just like any normal human would. He eats, says stupid shit from time to time, you know the deal, no matter what anyone, well, no matter everyone believe, no, no wonder everyone believes he is an actual person. In fact, I won't blame you if you were deceived as well after experiencing this dumbass in action just moments ago. He doesn't even know he's an android himself, for God's sake. Huh? Nah, he looks more human than some actual humans, jeez. He's not your rival, stop competing with him about everything. Then again, wouldn't be the first time a guy in his academy ends up awakening his dormant homoerotic desires towards him. <laughs> I shake my head and quickly draw my thumb around my neck from left to right. <laughs> Don't you remember how there's been other guys who tried to make a move on Kaoru and dropped out due to their injuries after being beaten to a pulp by him? So yeah, watch yourself too. <laughs> Better to not say that out loud, loud if you value your life. Ever since we've been enrolled in this institution, we were instructed the same thing over and over again. The one rule we must not break. Bodyguards are strictly forbidden from harboring feelings towards their clients. Day in and day out, the same mantra would be reiterated every day. 365 days a year. Isn't your partner already decided anyway? He says while drooping his shoulders. Hey, class is about to start. Let's get going already. Huh? Despite their differences, I know that both Kaoru and Yuki are looking forward to the work with their to work with their future assignments. Of course they are. After a year of blood, sweat, and tears, they've all managed to get here. When the term started last year and then oh, I remember there were two hundred and eighty of us. Only 34 of us managed to become second years. We faced many trials and experienced things most haven't. It hasn't been a long journey indeed. It has been a long journey indeed. I found myself suddenly sticking my hand into one of my unit form's pockets, reaching out for a letter I had stashed inside. I then proceeded to squeeze it as tightly as possible, making a scrap out of what was once a letter in the process. <laughs> as I entered the classroom, I happened to see the other aspiring bodyguards I spent the last year with. People I've seen every day for an entire term. Everyone's talking to each other. Clearly excited and tense. Kaoru and Yuki are over there as well. Can you please not sneak up behind me like that? You're gonna give me a heart attack. Maybe because you're the same fucking thing? What can I say? I was born lucky. Jokes on her, I'm not even gonna try. Nani? Nothing, forget what I said. What, forget what I just said. Ma, Boku are Reiko Josama de Toka Kudaro. Lady Reika? Ma, Soko. Shirana in the Dotonu Kasuna. Oi. Does that go right? Uh. Oh, Toyte Nainuka. いくら高根の花とはいえ、それくらいは覚えておけ。日本でも有数の資産家である二階堂。そしてその二階堂家の長寿である霊華お嬢様だ。だな、私はみんなのビアバーディガードとして、要人の資産価値はそのままボクらの
to become the role model of the future generations, I, the strongest bodyguard that has graced this planet, will coup the tile my way into dictatorship and live the rest of my days in a big mansion of a far away from the masses. <laughs> yeah, but it's always good to add some spice to make your charade somewhat interesting. He says as he snatches the paper from my hands and starts ripping it to shreds. What the hell are you up to? Well, you know, I was writing. Nanda. A letter declaring your status as a single and looking for ladies to the whole academy. Whoa there, I was just joking. Chill out. Oh, you're you can always make fun of me too in return, you know. No need to hold yourself back. やはり、どこか頭の<笑> Yep, yeah, definitely would have failed if it wasn't for you both. そんなことを堂々と言わないでくれ。はぁ、同期として恥ずかしい。I <sighs> think we should sit down, class is about to start. We go to our respective seats and wait for the instructor to arrive. The bell rings once more, and the moment it does, he enters the classroom. <laughs> A man donning a suit stands tall with his back straightened, towering over everyone in the class. He's the guy that's been all over our asses the past year, training us into bodyguards. Usually, less than 10% of the, of the total people who initially apply end up passing to the next year. If you count the amount of people... Here, compared to the beginning of last year's, we've clearly exceeded that 10% mark. Everyone breaks into a smile hearing such warm, heartwarming words from the guy who had treated us like shit last year's truly something. あたらしい門出と共に今まで以上に厳しい現実と立ち向かっていかなければならない。今ここでもう一度思い返してもらいたい。自分に与えられた使命は何か。自分の存在意義は何か。This guy never changes as he proceeds with the speech. He repeatedly smashes his hands against the table over and over again to stress his points. Amori, the rest of the class nods to what Son said after he finishes his grand speech. I'm the only one who doesn't. And the instructor doesn't fail to notice that, so of course he calls me up next. He asks me the same question he asked to Son just moments ago. I should have just fucking nodded like the rest. I'm stupid. I then slowly pull myself back from my chair and stand up. I don't really care if people perceive me as a troublemaker. I've been considered one for the entirety of last year, so I'm already used to it. Our duty is to protect our clients with every life. So no matter how great the peril, you must put our lives, in da in the, uh, lives on the line to protect our clients from any and all danger. Say with a neutral tone, hopefully mimicking what Sun just said a moment ago will be enough to please him. These two sentences were repeated on to death back when we were at the in the training facility last no, no. year. ここで拳銃を抜き、お前のプリンシパルに銃口を向けたらどうする? 
put myself between you, my client and you acting as your shield. Not really. Uh, nothing. Fuck, I should answer just like somebody. Sorry. そんなことでは困るぞ。しっかりしてくれ。He says, shaking his head. Shortly after, he turns his attention to the rest of the class. Here's the thing. Yeah, yeah, like getting in the in the line、uh, in the line of fire. Very nice. However, it also depends on where the bullet hits. Because if you get hit once in a critical area or and are out for the count, good luck saving your fuck client fucking client from the second bullet. No, it's disappointing, but I'm even more disappointed for not following the fucking script like I should have. I'm not supposed to answer such a meaningless question. What I want to know, Shimoto, are soon any king got skimato. So stay, so no king ni taisho, she, Prince Paro Mamorete, Hazimete, you should do yerdaro. Imano yoni Honda was school state to a Taisho Shani king or you. Box touch to Kaito, one of the other kind of shinai to Hoshi, this name. Oh, my knight in shining armor, the only reason I'm here in the first place. Tony Kaku, Kyo Hikishimedunda. Mother Kundin say the Karto Ite, Hamzaiwa Motte Kurenai no Dazo. Sate Soro Soro Hondai ni Hiro. Everyone in the room strains their backs, and what once had been a laid back atmosphere quickly turns into a tense. Seskina bodyguard to stay Rabata, Sanju Yonin no Mai Tachini, Sorosore Ketesta Prince Parvotsunger. 今日までに正式決定したのは22名だ。残りの12名は春休み中に発表されることになるだろう。We're currently in our second year of training, but the people we're being assigned to today turn out to be our assignments for many subsequent years. 我々が厳しく、正確に作り上げたお前たちのデータをプリンシパルに配布した。そして、指名されたボディーガードの能力とプリンシパルの危険度が近しいものを優先し決定してある。この決定に対しての意義は一切認められない。宮川貴則。はい。お前には主席として最も危険な人物を警護することが決定した。ありがとうございます。ああ、totally unexpected。でも、なあ、そして、あわや、son is by far the most hardworking guy of us all。stands up looking as confident as ever。definitely was expected to be called out first。プリンシパル。二階堂。Huh, it was a guy to what's a face that he mentioned before. Nikaido, I am no king or mazel. His confident persona suddenly vanishes, quickly turning into astonishment. Simimasa, Ima Nanto Nikaido, I am no king or mazel to eat tanga. Bakana Nanika no machigaida. So they were do you, Imida. As the instruction, he pierces him with a cold glare. Eh, Nanda Marimasa. And then we go as you planned. Softly whispered to Kaoru, who was sitting beside me. Takanori wa reika ojo sama da to omotte itan da. Oh, I see why he's pissed now. The instructor said I had. 当然本人ではないがかなり近しい人物だ。reika ojo sama の双子の妹だ。Why is he so pissed? Then it's not like it matters that much, right? I mean, they're twins, so their net worth should be approximately the same. Or am I tripping? タカノリはそう思ってないみたいだけどな。二階堂アヤのボディーガードとして恥じないよう励みたいと思います。It clears with a strong yet clearly angered tone. I don't really think there's much of a difference between that eye, Aya and Reika, but I guess there must be because he's seething. 本来なら何も教えるべきことはないが、二階堂レイカはボディーガードをそばに置くことはないそうだ。それは。僕らのような候補生でなくてもそういうこと噂は本当でしたか教えてやれるのはここまでだ以後、死後は慎めはい高カにとっては残念な結果だったがそれでも誇るには十分すぎる役割だと私は思う、uh -huh. では次南条カオルはいお前には神崎萌えのボディーガードが決定した。Everyone starts whispering to each other the moment he says Kao's client's name. This time they're being way louder than before. 彼女はお前より一つ年上になるため、学園内ではバラバラに行動することも多くなるだろう。本来なら
同学年で優先的に組み合わせを決めるが神崎に関しては少し事情が異なるはいわかりました I'm guessing that this one is the one like the sleepy girl we saw in the intro I remember that girl I'm gonna get it I bet everyone's Everyone, this guy has got a name. He's most likely someone I don't know as well. So. They're not calling us by chronological,、uh, chrono、chronological order either. They're calling us by our rank determined in our first year of training. What the fuck? <laughs> one by one, the instructors call out names one after another. If he doesn't call your name, it basically means that no one has chosen you yet to protect them. I, 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 you can't say one thing, this Raita Okumoto. Clearly has a lot of coverage to block line of fire. <laughs> I'm bad. Nishikori <laughs> Yuki. Hi. You called out Yuki now. Approximately half of the people in the class have been called out. You are Jizen Tuta to state at home. I think this is so you will be cut out of the world. So that. お前はある程度発言が許されている立場だが言葉遣いには気をつけた方がいいだろう分かってますってユキ then takes his diploma and returns to his seat looks like his client has already, was already decided ever since last year someone told me why one day but don't can't really remember wait a second now it shouldn't be my turn、right? I'm going I'll just go take my diploma and go When end this is fast fast. お前はいろいろな意味で印象深い生徒だった。Uh, thank you, I suppose. 危ない箇所も多々見られたが、この日、こうして終了証書を渡せることを嬉しく思う。お前のプリンシパルに関してだが、まだ検討中のため、この場では伝えられない。Ah, say that's pretty nice. よかった。That's pretty good. あれ休み中に告げられる報告を待て。やはり決まらなかったか。Looks like、you knew this was gonna happen. カイトに対する評価と成績を考慮すると、一度目でプリンシパルが決まるとは思えなかった。So, I'm, I'm is, think, yeah, this this one, While Takadori is also not on board with it. <laughs> Ooh, nice to know, man. Daga, Juken to a chigat the Tascotra. Zain Bun no Seki wa Kanarazar. Motomo, Len Ogaken no Seki da Arto a Kagira na Iwake daga. I could give a shit. 以上34名の終了証書授与を終了する起立レン Everyone bows their heads towards the instructor and the class ends We're free to do whatever for the rest of the day now よしこれで今日から2週間休みだぜ外出もある程度自由に許されるから嬉しいだろもちそうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。そうだな。正直なところどうなんだ What's your point? If you want to say something, just spit it out already. <笑>教官にここまで言い返せるのはお前だけだな。この一年お前を見てきて、私はつかみきれなかった。今までどんな生徒でもある程度真理は読めていたんだがな。I'm a little bit of an odd one after all. そのようだ。Call me just for that, gonna go already. Gumbore, Asagi. The moment I step out of the corridor, I'm, I'm met with a sour look on the sun's face. 
Does it really matter that much that you were given Aya as your client and not Reika? Aren't they from the same family? Wouldn't they make them equally valuable in terms of network? Like, aren't they twins for fuck's sake? I don't get why you're so fuzzy about something like that, to be honest. テレベルな考えで見られると無傷が走る。いや。こればかりは仕方がない部分でもある。What Man, he is full of himself. Shades, bodyguards. How has she been? Has she been able to commute here until now? Wasn't she accompanied by bodyguards on her way to the academy in the morning? So de mo nai rashi in da yo ne. Da kara hotondo gaisu suru koto mo nai in da to ka. Ah, no, I thought those kinds of ladies existed. The ladies that commute to the school will be accompanied by us recruits from now on, but that doesn't mean that they don't have previous experience of having bodyguards around them. I must remind you that we're still cadets. In no way, shape, uh, no way, shape or form are we fully-fledged bodyguards. Most, if not all, of the ladies who come here are constantly accompanied by quite the amount of bodyguards when they step outside of the school grounds. My eyes are already hurting. We're supposed to join in on the action with who, those who are already professionals and learn by experience. Man, you're a dumbass. A dumbass. Jackass. Asshole. God. He says with a grin, sure loves to jerk himself off with his brilliant, brilliant future. I know I'm not a client or anything, but I pity I, I personally, I wouldn't like to have you as my bodyguard. That's right. I don't think that's eager you got there, did my dude. Who knows? I've been lucky my client hasn't been decided yet. He's wondering what I'm gonna do today. It's for the best if it stays that way. Kaoru, so, do you have any food? Yeah, that's right. I don't have any problem. Is it okay? Sorry, but I'll just go back to the dorms. In this room, you're not just the only one. Yeah. I just want to finish our conversation here. I want to get out of here as soon as possible. As final ceremony for us first year ends, I leave the academy grounds. That's the last time I come here. All I have to do is give this academy withdrawal letter to him and all will be over. I wasn't even planning to get this far in the first place, unlike the others. Suddenly a gust of wind blows. And for some reason, I follow the flow of the wind with my eyes. <sighs> Judge up by her uniform, she's the first year, just like me. Yeah, she's gonna going back home, seeing as she's walking alone towards the gate just like I am. Hey. Call out to her. She went out of her way to answer me? Damn. Slowly turns around to look at me. Walking alone past the school gate is prohibited if I remember correctly. Even if she's a lady, I'm pretty sure that if she requested to go out alone, she'd be denied from doing so. Maybe she doesn't know going out alone is prohibited. Very unlikely for that to be the case, but still. Nanika? <laughs> It's pretty darn dangerous to go past the ga gate alone. I think you already know that, though. Not really, no. Just because? Mm -hmm. She suddenly places her hand over her mouth. She giggles in the most polite way I've ever seen. Why are you laughing? Nah. Of course not. 
I think that laugh of hers is actually charming, to be honest. I don't find it annoying at all. I'm not a serious person at all. I am? He says with a gloomy facade as she nods. My name, I don't think there's any use in you knowing, but uh... Nah, it's fine, I'm Kaito Asagiri. Say if you're on horrifics, I'm just a cadet, and you're a lady. I don't even, don't even say that as a joke. <laughs> Music? I just said that anyone would... I just said what anyone would. Oh. I just realized why she's laughing. My bad, I should speak more politely when addressing you, right? Uh, my lady, isn't it? Her expression becomes gloomy once more. What? So I can speak normally, you say? Would be grand if that's what you want. Okay, maybe if she said it as a joke, uh, that isn't, wasn't the music at all. If she starts to unironically cry right here, right now, I'll be branded as a criminal. That's how much power these ladies have over us cadets. Okay, then I'll talk as old as I know. I just realized that we're now matching pace. It's as if she has awakened some instinct lying dormant within me. I've already made up my mind, though. This is not my calling. She starts whispering something to herself, and I'm unable to hear what she says. What'd you say? Didn't I tell you just a moment ago that walking outside alone? Not really, let me see. Uh, there's quite an amount of men lined up in front of the gate from the outside. They're staring at me, making sure to see my every move so I, as I walk alongside the girl. They're professional bodyguards. It's pretty clear who they were waiting so for. She then bows her head and walks past the gate. Oh, I forgot to ask her name. I then chase the girl's back with my eyes as she enters her car and leaves. Once she does, I hit head towards the outside as well. Turn around once more. Kaoru, Yuki, and the others are still inside. Looks like do my days are doing stupid shit with you guys have come to an end. Finally leave the grounds. Sorry for making you come all the way here. Suruna. Hand of my resignation letter to the man standing before me. The reasons I've been here up until now has been out of respect towards you. Mm. The man pierces me with a stare, not moving a single muscle while doing so. His name is Akitoshi Satake. He is the current headmaster of Reno Academy. His burly physique, clearly noticeable under his suit, carries an impressive aura with it. He also hides his real age. Well, he's older than he looks. Giri. I must admit, this year has been way better than I expected. However, that's pretty much it. I'm not made for this line of work. I really don't want to hear it, Satake. I'm pretty fucking tired of his sermons at this point. He reaches within his suit. What's he looking for? Is he gonna try to bribe me into staying? Nah, I don't see him doing that. With a loud bang, he then places something on the table. It's quite the old item, but it still carries that oppressive feeling around it, exuding a powerful aura of dread. This gun is different from others I've seen. It is an anti-personnel weapon. Around 10 years ago, there was a legal reform in Japan and the use of guns was spread throughout the country. The gun he pulled out isn't a model that the police uses, though. What he placed on the table is none other than a Glock 17. It's a weapon that got pretty popular in America around the end of the last century. Got that from a museum or something? So, that's right. Then grabs the gun with his right hand and points it towards me. That master pointing a gun at one of the students? That's the first time for everything, I guess. 
お前は死ぬこれが何十年も前の拳銃だろうと Indeed But if you shot me with an even older gun the result would be pretty much as, would pretty much be the same これは脅威だどれだけ進化と過ちを繰り返しても変えようのない事実なのだだから人は来るこれを手にして狂ってしまう過去も現代も未来もこれ一つで差は生まる I get what you're trying to get at. これに立ち向かえるものは本当にわずかしかいない戦争経験者自衛隊経験者武道の達人それらは確かに必要な技術だが絶対の力とは違うどんなつわものも子供の持つマシンガンには勝てない素質を無駄にするなカイト So he's pulled out a gun at me. Just end up saying the same fucking thing in the end. Sent my resignation letter to him once more. Please take this. I intend to leave once spring break is over. I fucking swear. He says in a very angry tone, his teeth gritted against each other. Promises are meant to be broken. I don't expect your serious ass to understand that, though. <sighs> All you want. Askara, n i s u k a h o d o n o y a s m i n i h i r u n a k a o m a d a k i a k r i z o n a n i k a t a n o k a n a n o r e a l l y n a n i k a a r u k a r a s o n a k a s t e r u n d a r o g u z e n t o a ye. i t i n e n k a o n a j i r u m m a t e that t a n d a s k o s h k r a h a n a s t e m i t i m o バッチは当たらないはずだ。It's not like we have anything to talk about. 私の想像だと、指名されなかったことが引っかかってるな。Yeah. 違ったか。Then I just agree with you. 目が泳いでた。それほど気に留めることでもないのか、あるいは話せることじゃないのか。どちらにせよ、これ以上追求しない方が良さそうだ。Please don't. しかしこれ以上つまらない顔はしないでくれこの生活もあと2週間で終わるんだ最後で気まずい雰囲気を残してしまうこともない怒られるようなことばかりしてきただろう Can't remember me doing those. まったく調子のいいやつめ Right, and what, he sa- what I said though, living with Kaoru has been quite the experience. It went from one fit to another. But his fists were good call outs for me. Fits were good call outs for me. Wouldn't have realized my mistakes otherwise. Can I ask you something? Nanda? Why did you decide to become a bodyguard? Nanda ka. Deja vu o k a n j i r u n a Huh? Each name my. What does that you got roommate on in that to Kimo? So Nakoto it in a kataka. Yeah, I also remember how you dodged the question as well back then. You're the same. I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid. Now you do. I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid. I'm not a kid. Find a way that he's okay about telling me now. I don't think we've become any closer. I'm not a kid. 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 This family has been doing that job for many generations. I assume it's been for longer than that, right? As I thought from way before the legal reform took place. Got it. First time I've heard about that. Dare ni mo hanashita koto wa nai kara na. Dakara watashi mo bodyguard ni natta. Is that what you wished for, for,、uh, wished for yourself? Mo chiron sa. Bodyguard ni hokori o motte re. Sore wa. ここに来た者全員がそうだろう高則もお前も他の仲間も西郡は少し特別だがカイトこそどうしてボディーガードになったんだ I just thought it would be a profitable job. 不純だな Call me realist. 儲かりそうというのは間違いだと思う My ass, the initial salary when a bodyguard gets out of the academy doubles that of an ordinary so- office worker. Yeah, but you also have to put your life on the line, uh, 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 very much unlike an office worker. Salaryman was a lot of work. I'm not sure. 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 I'm not
命をお金に変えているんだ決して割のいい仕事だとは思わない Now I think about it, apart from accidents, natural causes, or very serious illnesses, I can't really imagine an office worker dying in any other way. So you could do that. Carl has me in a kimochi no mamaja. Is that to you to keep? Kiki and Ameni at the Shimazo. I'll keep your advice in mind. That's how our conversation ends. Shortly after, we both go to sleep.今だから話すけどさ、カイトっては自己中だぜ。この間も深夜にエロ本買いに行けって安らかに眠る俺を強引に起こしてさ。え、マイ、looks I know it's the disturbance and the force. Someone was talking shit about me, forcing me to wake up. Also, I'll admit that I was almost late to class every other day, but it wasn't because I overslept or anything like that. Well, there, hold your horses, dude. Don't try to run away after talking shit about me. I think you mentioned something about a certain someone waking you up uh, the other night to go fetch a. Uh, Go and fetch a very special magazine for him, right? Bad and stomach are fused into a single entity or what? If you're gonna use an excuse to escape, at least try to make it sound believable. Trojan horse. Worm. Spyware. Ah, back, 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 Whenever we speak virus lingo or anything related to that, Yuki just loses it. Without shirts, I don't know what you're going on about. Plus, I'm pretty sure that you could own me with an anti to your back if you wanted to. I can actually see him doing that to me if we ever thought. オリンピックに出られそうだろ出たら優勝だななあ、you'd I don't really have anything special to do outside, so I'll just stay here. I don't know what you're doing. I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm not So, how should I spend my time today? What very choices. Uh, quite frankly, go st mm. Should I go with my choice? Or the more interesting choice? Because I'd just stay in my room. <laughs> Actually, it depends, really. If there's really nothing to do, I would just walk around outside randomly if it's not too hot. Uh, I guess uh, that's what I preached, except I accidentally pressed that and didn't actually want to go for that. Oh, you cannot... Yeah, oh, I, I see. I, I, I see how it is. I, I, I see how it is. I see how it is. You can't, you can't fucking jump back. Guess we're staying in the room, guys! Unless there's like an auto. Oh yeah, there is. Lovely. Nah, I already pressed on it. Let's fucking go through with it. Guess I'll do what I preach to stay here chilling. Hmm. 
なあカイト。Yeah. Both of us closed the books we were reading at the same time. No, we started reading it because Yuki recommended it to us, but I can't really follow what's going on. How would you describe it? This Kazuo's Great Adventure still has quite the amount of volumes, as far as I'm seeing here. <laughs> And how about not saying cringy shit to begin with? That description sounded like what a stupid bimbo would say. Even the faces of the characters are bad. They're so similar that, it almost, that it's almost impossible to pick them apart. Let's just drop it. So she. Okay, let's play gag inducing word chain. What do you say? Maybe it'll open your eyes to a new path in life. Okay, I'll start vomit. I thought you'd reflexively follow up if I tried going first. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought you would follow up if I tried going first. I thought you the point where that is the exact thought someone me meeting me is having when they meet me. God, I can't talk. Didn't mommy and daddy teach you not to say bad words to others? Yeah, but I didn't do it. You sent me flying moments after, though. I'll explain why I did it. Uh, you know how there's always those people who think of themselves as better than the others around them, yeah? Yes. You know, those kinds of guys who were good at baseball or whatever sports they started playing when they were little at their school? There's people who persevere with pure effort or just because they like whatever they're doing a lot, but definitely not the majority. I did that because back when I entered this academy, I thought I'd be the hottest shit as well, but meeting you and the others was a pretty rude awakening for me. I wasn't expecting people like you to be here. People like Kaoru and Sun are actually super freaking strong. The ones who will come after us will also have their own special snowflakes who will eventually become actual beasts as well. Now that we're not in the academy training anymore, it feels like we have too much free time. Aren't you going to return to your house like Sun did? Another point pointing, uh, another plot point, steering it in the direction of he's actually a uh, actually a chick. It keep this keeps happening. Huh? Yeah, Alright, you didn't say anything then. You didn't say anything then. Got it. I feel you. There's always some things you'd rather keep to yourself. Hey, about your client then. As far as the instructor said yesterday, she's a uh, third year. Kanzaki-sama Lady. Tozen-daro-watashi-no-keigo-taishou-sha-nanda. I guess. Kanojo-wa-nikai-douke-hodo-ja-nai-ga-you-mei-na-shi-san-ka-no-hitori-musume-ra-shi-osanai-koro-yori-kobu-jutsu-o-sofu-ni-narat-te-i-ta-sou
あまり強くなることに意欲的じゃないな。Yeah, pretty much. 私は訓練校に入る前も、家計柄いろいろなボディーガードを見てきた。その誰もが強さを誇りにしていた。実際ここでも、みんな負けじと強くなろうとしていたしな。Uh-huh. Not really cared much about their grades when it came to desk subjects, but when it was, what was <coughs> but when it was about martial arts or anything related to field training, that's where everyone went apeshit. So, the Dakia bodyguard on the Shigotoa, Taijits Nado no Jisen Gijuts go Oki to you Kotodana. We're men after all, we expect,、uh, we're expected to act like that.、We're、supposed to have the desire to be stronger than the, next, than the guy next door, anyway. Dosta? I don't really know what I can add to the conversation, to be honest. You're the honest student here, not me. Fighting skills aren't really everything about the job. Motironda. Principal in the Taisu Sindaya, Donna Sasaina Cotoni Motui or Harau Cotomo Vasrenai. What does your Diso Dori no bodyguard to stay at Tiki Sodana? Kanji Nanoa, Kaito no Hoja Nainoka. Worried about what? Kakujitni Principal in a Kimati Nainoa. カイトを含めて12人そ,うその全員がうちの学園で警護できるとは限らないのだぞ。そんな他人事のように。Happens, happens. いろいろとカイトには苦労させられたが。一緒に卒業したい気持ちはあるし counts, いいプリンシパルが見つかるといいな朝だぞカイトそろそろ起きろ今日から新学年だ初日から遅刻するわけにもいくまい、no, I'm fine as I am. だったら目を開けて起きろ朝には弱くないんだから簡単だろうおはよう I'm awake now, happy. 次は体を起こすんだ But you only told me to wake up, though. 今言ったぞ Get out of bed. Watashi wa hayame ni deyo to mo. Isoi de junbi suru nara, mata nai de mo nai ga? I'm fine, you just go on ahead. So ka. Chikoku wa shinai yo ni na. As a nod to what he says, I then wait for him to leave the room. No need for him to worry about me. Today, actually not today, my life has completely changed from yesterday. I'm not a student of this academy anymore. I'll leave my uniform here. I'm not gonna go out dressed like that. Maybe I should sleep a little bit more before I leave. Actually, I won't. I quickly get all of my stuff packed and change clothes. Let's get going then. I checked the room where I've been living for the past year. One last time, I would expect that I'd get used to sleeping under the same roof. As if I considered this place like some sort of home already. Wow. <laughs> no, all of that ends today. Starting tomorrow, I'll return to not knowing what future awaits me. I bet a lot of people would say that, but I say that what I'm doing is pretty stupid. After all, I have no place to call home and nowhere to go. I'm like a lost soul wandering around the world without a clear goal in mind. Kaito. What are you doing here so early in the morning? How many times do I have to tell you? He suddenly pulls out a white envelope from one of his packs and presents it to me. How's this? Check out its contents. Don't need it. If I'm being honest, I don't want anything from you. I don't want to feel any sort of guilt if I take this with me. 
Calling her face whenever I'd used his money is not something I'd like at all. If that were the case, I don't want it. I returned the envelope to him, but he refused to take it. You're so fucking weird. I then take a single bill out of the stack inside the envelope. I leave the rest out of the rest of the bill and spills inside and close it again. I'll take just this one. If you don't take the envelope back, I'll just leave it here. Throw the envelope onto the floor and leave. Before I'm able to hear what he says, I leave the door. Well then, where should I go now? I have some cash from that envelope, but it's only 10,000 yen, so not very much. Still something that will allow me to have a really decent head start, though. In any case, I can't really stay around this area. This part of town is too... cheerful. Too beautiful for my taste. When you're born in the shittier than that shittier... When you're born in the shitter, then that shitter becomes what you're used to. Doesn't matter if it's... Well, a shithole. Oh look, a vending machine! I can't really use this bill on it. I'm pretty sure it won't accept it. But I could get something to drink from it for other means. I send my hand to one of my pockets where I have always stored my trusty partner. That's when I saw it. I'm walking through a rather peaceful street. Nothing out in the ordinary. It is... That is until several people start making a scene, drawing everyone's attention. There's two men in black showing a young girl into a dressed in black. Shoving a girl into a black van. It's fast noon, by the way, they're doing this in broad daylight. Either way, they have balls of either they have balls of steel or they're a bunch of retards. In any case, they catch my attention. They look, they look menacing, all right. Like that matters, though. More importantly, I just realized that it's the first time I'm seeing a live abduction take place right in front of me. I was gonna try to help this girl. I guess they're too shocked to do anything. No, people don't usually get to witness things like this. Sorry, I keep doing this. Or the Greek today. Like a big old bag of like gyros, tzatziki, and fries, along with like a salad and uh, like these pita bed uh, breads with uh, some with some garlic sauce on it. By God, it was tasty. <laughs> it, it was it was hella tasty, but by God, every time I burp, I I can I I can immediately taste the fucking garlic again. Ba ba basically, no one seems to be in the mood to do anything. That's how things are, I guess. If it was a random, if I was a random dude, I definitely wouldn't risk my own life just to be here for what's her face over there. <laughs> she reminds me of Re Reina for some reason. What's the Inoshima theme gonna start playing? She's in danger, yet here I am, calmly assessing the situation from a distance. <laughs> She's definitely not gonna get abducted without a fight by the look of things. He's wearing a school uniform, one that I know all too well. They squirmish and shout at each other for a bit. One of the man slaps the girl's face, quickly which quickly shuts her up. The girl cries out in pain as her cheek flushes crimson. She's gonna get taken away just like that if I don't do anything. She'll end up in either her family paying a ridiculous amount of cash for her to be returned, or, uh, well, for her to be returned in pieces. Can't rule out other possibilities, though. Maybe they're part of some cult that wants her for whatever reason. In the end, they manage to shove her into the van. Just a few more seconds, and life will return to normal around, me around here, as if nothing happened at all. Now, let me be clear. I'm just like the others. Self-preservation drives me, and keeping myself safe is a priority of mine. I'm not driven by any moral compass. Even so, I run chasing that black car. Catch up to it as I extend my arms towards it and latch myself onto it. 
Why would I do that, you may ask? The answer is simple. Because it's the opposite of what everyone else would do! Because it defies all logic! Because deep within, all I long for is a different world. As I said before, I latch myself onto the car, but with great force it knocks me off and I fall onto the road. <laughs> I get back up and look at the car's place so I can remember it. I need something to catch up to them. There are a couple of bicycles parked near me. Well, as I say, desperate time call for desperate measures. Pull out my trusty partner from my pocket and quickly head towards the bicycle. Then I slowly insert the pick into one of the bicycle locks and start moving up to upwards and downwards. After mere seconds, the lock clicks open. Sorry to whoever owns this one, but I'm borrowing it for a bit. I then release the lock from the bicycle. I start pedaling towards the direction the car left with everything I've got. なんで、くだらないことだったらぶっ飛ばす。実は、さっきから、ちょろちょろと自転車がついてきてるんですが、ちょろちょろ。ちょろ見つけ。はい。いえ、ただの新聞配達員だろ。いえ、そうは見えない
If I were to repeat the voice line now. There we go, now he actually has a respectable fucking volume. Speak up, motherfucker! He then starts slowly draw close with his cigarette to her. It's fully lit, so if he presses it against her skin, she'll definitely experience a nasty burn. As the cigarette was about out of finger's distance from her, he then takes it away. <laughs> yeah, they can't hurt her. Maybe that's why she isn't scared of them, because she knows. She knew from the beginning that they'd never have the balls to burn her. The man wearing a white suit then looks at one of the black suited men. And the moment he does, the girl sees the opportunity because. Shakes a guy in the white suit and starts running, still handcuffed and gagged. <laughs> Looks like someone's angry. The moment he pu she pushes him away, he reaches into his suit. And then pulls out an item that not many people have access to. It's something pretty dangerous, and that it can make uh, whoever carries it pretty much invincible. I could jump and protect her like the hero in the movies. But if I do that, then I can kiss this life goodbye. Humans are very frail beings, after all. Unfortunately, the girl is running away my way, so as soon as he passes beside me, I'll grab up to one of her arms and yank it towards me. At the same time I do that, a bullet flies right beside the girl's head, grazing her hair. Keep what says I removed the tape from her mouth. Just an old person who happened to pass by the area. Sure. Don't worry about me in any case, just run away. She says as she lifts her hands to let me see. Pretty big, covering her small wrists entirely. Stay still for a sec. Just shut up and do what I say. I say as I yank her cuffed hands towards me, and it's surprising that she's showing me so much animosity to that I find it surprising that she's showing so much animosity towards me. I mean, didn't I just save her life just moments ago? Pull up my lockpick. Lockpick? Prepare yourself to run. She shouts as she looks at her hands, but her eyes widen the moment she does. Told you the lockpick would be more than enough. I reply as I stuff it inside my pocket again. It's written in my CV. You aren't the first one who tells me that. どうするき。拳銃さえなかったら男の一人くらい倒せるけど。Wow, you'd be so helpful. <laughs> can hear footsteps coming our way. Whoever's approaching us is at around 10 meters from where we are. Nagging is pretty annoying, so I stop heeding any sort of attention to it. Instead, I concentrate fully on the footsteps. I mean, but until the steps sound clear, I know it's two people who are approaching. One of them stops at around seven meters from our position while the other keeps approaching us. Sex, uh... I'm gonna knock out the man approaching us. When I do, I want you to get the hell out of this place. There's a car waiting outside. Without hesitation, I then quickly pop out from the left side of our hiding spot and find myself in front of one of them. Oh, there we... Then we get to see our sexy man of a ma character. Let me just, uh... Save. Before he manages to react, I punch him in the gut, making him lean forward in pain. I follow up with a punch that enables his neck. Okay, now their attention's on me and not the girl. She finally noticed what I'm going for, so she sprints towards the entrance of the warehouse. He is like... Why is he dressed so snazzily? 
Based on how he's talking, he'd be more of like a, I like guess, semi-straight rat. And he's over here like, ah, yes, I'm, I'm going, ahead, going to go ahead and uh, leave my life at this academy behind me. Guess I'll be a wandering lost soul. Let me just put on my best suit for this. <laughs> Ronnie knows what I'm going for, so he sprints towards the entrance anywhere else. Damn, I'm not half bad! Well, a person wouldn't be able to react at all in this situation. No, you're not. No. Without readying himself in a fighting stance, he throws me a lousy punch, which I easily evade. Is that supposed to be a jab? Even if it had been an actual jab, the guy knew how to actually fight. Even if it had been an actual jab, but the guy knew how to actually fight, nothing would have changed anyways. Doesn't matter if you're the boxing world champion or strong as judoka. You'd be dead in less than a day if they dared to live uh, live where I grew up. I answered his laughable jab with an uppercut, making him fly for a brief moment and fall to the ground li immediately after. <laughs> he's so stunned that he's hesitating to pull the trigger on the gun he was pointing at me. He has pointed at me. The punch don't feel like criminals at all. He's too stunned to react, he can't move, probably caused by the sight of me instantly knocking out his two lackeys. As he stiffens up in fear, I can't help but cackle. It makes me wonder who's the bad guy now. I've been holding myself back all the last year when I saw the, uh, when I was at the training facility. So being able to go all out like this is exhilarating. <laughs> take a step forward, making him take one backwards in return. Your gun's shaking. Lord can't shoot me. There are people in this world who don't give a shit about having a gun pointed at them, so you better remember that. Somebody! Oh, but can you? Slowly but surely, the darkness dwelling within me overpowers his laughable evil convictions. You gotta pull the trigger or what? Too slow! Quickly close my distance to him, man. I didn't even hit him that hard, and it's enough for him to fall unconscious to the floor. A grave. Look at the three men that I'd knocked out and take a deep breath. Case closed, I guess. Case closed, I guess. Some dust falls over me. So it must have not been used for ages now. Shake it off and lean towards the man I just knocked out. I do an extra little thing just in case his or his friends wake up. They're still inside enjoying a nap sponsored by yours truly. All thanks to Jesus Christ up there, grassy with his blessing. Praise me! <sighs> Don't know what you're talking about. How the fuck does she know? <laughs> Bullets. I wrap them in a handkerchief I have and throw it in the sea, which is right beside the warehouse. Took the bullets out of their guns just in case they wake up. Saw it on a magazine once. That that's how you do it now. Nah, the police will need some sort of evidence to properly arrest them. <laughs> Here. Make sure nothing has been stolen from it and call the police right after. I then head towards the car where the old man is. He's still knocked out. Hey, old timer, wakey wakey! Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to ask you to give this one and uh, give us another ride if you don't mind. <laughs> Well? That path leads to the safe zone? It's where the wealthy live. There are guards in every single one of its entrance at in every single one of its entrances. If you don't have enough clearance to go in or a very sound reason to, forget about trying to enter this zone. Call me a tits, old man. She's an annual stu student, so we'll be allowed to pass. Ah, so ka. Dori de mita seifuku na wake da. Anta wa sono gakuen no bodyguard desho. And again, I'm asking, what makes you think that? I left my uniform at the dorm, so this wouldn't happen. I don't think anything that I'm wearing is indicative enough for her to arrive at that conclusion either. So then, wakai otoko ga suits kiteru ten no mo hikakaru shi. Yeah, I guess nobody would think of me as being an office worker, considering my age, indeed. Well, your intuition isn't wrong in a way. Uh, I was a trainee at the Nano Academy, not a anymore, though. Go, 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 go. So, 
ご苦労だったわねいやき気にしなくていいさ<笑> The guys sweat in buckets and no wonder why It is not every day that you get to see a mansion that they... あんたもここで降りて、What? 助けてもらったお礼がまだだし I don't need your gratitude. いいから降りなさい Well, it looks like this is gonna be my stop as well, not by choice though. Do not, and then, e bodyguard in the knee. The old man then flashes a bile and leaves as fast as he arrived. I really don't need your gratitude. Anta, what is the point of asking me that? I don't need your gratitude. 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 I gave up and withdrew from the program. You got it. Like, you want to hear my reasons? Correct, it is not. She suddenly pulls out a phone and starts calling someone. Satake? Satake? I can't be talking about that, Satake, right? そこ No, I don't know what that means. What was wrong with you? She starts looking straight into my eyes with a serious demeanor. About what? Her tone exudes absolute confidence as if no other opinion but hers is the one that matters. As if she knows I won't be able to refuse whatever she offers me. She finishes, unfazed after her bold declaration. Well then, guess I'll get going now. Don't punch me. She's a fucking smurf, but that punch fucking hurt! Plus, she jumped quite high to reach my head. Foolishly, talk about being posh. That's the lady for you. Oh, so now I'm your bodyguard, yeah? Say ya. And how about you cut the crappy jokes? I, I don't find them funny. I know what part of your undeveloped brain managed to arrive at that conclusion. I grab her head with my hand. With my hand. <laughs> are you sure you are an animal student? Aren't you a wee bit too small to be there? Did you skip some grades in whatever preschool you were attending before, or what? <laughs> I knew it got him! <laughs> she cries out as she desperately tries to get rid of my hand by hitting it as hard as she can. I should be grateful to you, you say. Now nah, I'm more like hard pass. None. I think I told you that I voluntarily withdrew from the program. Are you fucking deaf? Why did you choose me anyways? You're lucky that I felt like it today, but normally I wouldn't have given a shit if I saw you getting kidnapped any other day. And leave me be for fuck's sake! If you think I'm gross, you should meet M Mike Roch. Why'd you got that? Surprised you got it so quickly. In any case, I'm I'm gone. See ya. I then turn around and ah, I am to find myself staring at Satake. I didn't notice he was behind me until just now. The fuck are you doing here? Wasn't he in the dorms just a moment ago? He quickly places his hands under my shoulders and prevents me from moving. What the fuck's wrong with you? Satake, swayaku nenkou shinasai. Tashou teara ni shitemo. Hey, you fucks. I'm still here. 
死なない程度になら許可するわありがとうございます What have you two been? Oh! I feel a huge shock running through my spine. Motherfucker! <laughs> Slowly approach Satika and grab his arm to try and fend myself off of him. But how can I feel him? He has the fucking stun gun on me. And he dials his potency way higher than what a purpose would normally use to defend themselves. All strength had left in my body. Kaito is a small bodyguard. Why is he passed out? See, I, I, I recommend him. Like, look, look at him. He says he, he, I fucking stun gun him. He's still not fucking down for the count. By God, he's like a fucking cockroach. Probably he actually is one considering where he grew up. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. This is so fucking funny. <laughs> what the fucker? Not the case. I wanted me in a lock on the ground. Since I've been hit with a stun gun just a moment ago, I'm at his complete mercy. <laughs> <laughs> All I can do is watch as Satika carries me inside the mansion. That's the first time that I entered a place like this, a uh, place where only a very small percentage of the populace has the right to enter. The first thing that returns to me on my uh, uh, to my senses is the dazzling light of the place I'm located at. As far as looks go, it seems like a dining hall. There's a pretty big table, and the room itself is very spacious. As I slowly gain my consciousness, around 10 minutes pass until I'm fully back to my senses. Oh, don't get me wrong. I'm so happy about being stun gunned and brought here against my will. To make matters worse, you made me listen to your endless crying about your kidnapping for 10 minutes! Truly a joyous experience! Sorry. <laughs> ことわずか世直させる努力はしたんですが。いいわ。むしろその態度が気に入ったから。は。何じゃ、ヴェノーズハッマスター、ワッツヨーディーボートライクアメアスチューデント so that's why I immediately replied to her summons when she called for him. I called for him over the phone. しかし驚いたぞ。まさか誘拐された霊感お嬢様を救い出すなんてな。お前にもボディーガードとしての自覚が芽生えていてくれたとは。I、I don't look so happy。とにかく説明は理解できたわね。はい。私に依存はありません。
優秀で生真面目であることを誇りにするボディーガードをそばに置くこと<音声>そんなのヘドが出るだけね Damn, what's your language, will ya? その点あんたは地位や生真面目なんかとは無縁じゃないそんなあんただからそばに置いてやる気になったのよ。Yes, you is right that I'd be、uh, one of a kind bodyguard.、Uh, I'd be one of a kind as a bodyguard. I don't think we'd be able to find anyone like me in the country. 本来なら、学園生に報酬は存在しないわ。あくまでも候補生。学生としてボディーガードとしての経験を積む2年間でなければならないだけどあんたが辞めるって言うならそれなりのものを用意して引き止めてもいいわありえないわね、What? 特に何かなくても何かあるでしょその何かを用意してあげるから私のボディーガードになりなさい What's your deal? どういうこと I know you want me because I'm special or whatever, but I can't help but feel that there's something else you're not telling me. あんたの勘違いよ。Oh, I wonder about that. バカげたことを言ってると、こいつをあんたに食らわせるわよ。She says that she pulls out the stun gun that Sotoka used on me just moments ago. Why'd you get her hands on that? When threatening someone else, you always have to choose your methods with care. Say as I make a face at her, piercing into her eyes. Running a knife over someone else's neck is always better than just pointing a gun when it comes to threatening others. It'll definitely cause whoever you're threatening to shit their pants if you do that. Mainly because most people are not used to seeing or nor knowing what guns do, but everyone knows what a knife does. Your choice of threatening me with a stun gun is not a bad one. Serving you used it on me moments ago, making me realize the pain it can afflict. Don't even think for a moment that I'm defenseless. I'm the defenseless one here, though. I'm the defenseless one here, though. Not for much longer. <laughs> Before she reacts, I quickly yanked the girl's hand that's holding the stun gun. You thought you were gonna keep me like that for as long as you wanted? Ninja! <laughs> Why are you ninja turtle specifically? Nani? Come on, I can't be a ninja turtle. They're for kids. <laughs> oh, I'll definitely go with you. Don't worry. Then shove her aside and rush towards the door. Remember the pant they took when they brought me inside, so I know how to get out. Bye. The moment I touch the doorknob, though. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> You almost got me killed because of that. So, she said, Kagi is a bodyguard. Just because the door got locked, get real. And you called me stubborn before? And you called me stubborn before? Wait a second. That thing is something she won't be able to do. Getting out of here might be easier than expected after all. Okay, then I'll place my demands. But in the event you cannot give me what I ask for, then you'll have to let me go. You have to give up on me becoming your bodyguard. And of course, no more shenanigans to stop me from leaving this place. Of course, I'll ask for something realistic. Too bad you won't be able to comply, though. Okay, I'm gonna say it now. Want a hundred million right now? Let it rain over me, baby. <laughs> I want it now and in cash, of course. <laughs> she looks at me dumbfounded. What did it surprise me too much? Nah, she's just gonna over here like, that's it? <laughs> What? You can't do it? Oh man, guess you'll have to let me go. Let go of me. She stays silent for a good moment, minute, but then. I'm a man of my word. <laughs> Suddenly the locked door quickly opens. Mad should have just asked. For her or something like, you know what? I'll be your fucking bodyguard if during the duration of the bodyguard, I was dead, dead to stick my pee pee in it. 
Like, because she would, under no circumstances, say yes to that, considering her pride. Hi, Ojo-sama. A maid leads the charge inside the room, followed by a big guy carrying a metallic case along with him. They then approach me and... What's up with them? Ah! Huh? Fuck off! You took what I said too literally. Looks like asking for money was a mistake on my end. She doesn't seem to give a damn about it. She sure does whatever the hell she wants when it comes to anything. <laughs> ボディーガードを務めて。あんたとならやっていけそうなのよ。せわ。手を貸して。ほら。ああ、you uh, fucking kicked me again. Was that just a moment ago? She looked sad for a moment. どんな現状に飽きてやめたがってたか知らないけど私といれば退屈な日々は送らせないわ。Also <laughs> have a freaking name, you know. なんて言ったっけ。嘘。カイトだったわね。Good know you have a functioning of brain to remember that much. 私の名前はニカイドレイカよ。but I kind of think I've heard your name before. Whatever refuse. What? Fuck, that actually sounds unironically terrifying. What the hell's wrong with you, woman? Start taking the bills out of my back. Fuck bodyguards. Fuck shit. Fucking shit job. 1年間訓練した人間のセリフじゃないわね。Yep, it's something I would say. 全く前後してないけど、わからないでもないわね。あんたは他のやつとは違う。In any case, I won't do it. Fool me once, shame on you, but I won't be shamed today. I want to, I don't want to. I don't want to be a bodyguard. Russell. Russell, Russell, as I throw my tent tantrum, I scatter the bills more and more around the room, turning it into a mess. Even if you whisper, I can still hear you, asshole. That's so embarrassing, it's becoming of me. This is the most embarrassing thing I've done in my entire life so far. I think it's a quick stand up. Yeah, forget what I said. Get out of here. Eee! Why can't you just be disgusted and say that already? <laughs> like, why can't you just like scream in disgust and tell me to leave already? You're fucking weird. Congratulations. I'm into it. I think I'm starting to get stared here. <laughs> How weird can this girl be? Oh, hold on, I need to like fucking... Set to you know, constantly pointing at me. Hey, if I can go, I'm melting again. How oh, can this girl be? So they don't know. Do I even have a choice here. Why do you think so? I literally expelled myself from the academy, so I didn't have to be a bodyguard, you midget. Sama. お嬢様に向かって。よしなさい。しかし、いいから。はっ。あんたに聞くわ。What is it now? I don't want anything. I told you before. そんなに誰かを守るのが嫌なら、どうしてあの時私を助ける真似なんかしたの？はい。一般人なら一般人らしく傍観者でいればよかったのよ。Majority would have preferred me to do that, wouldn't you? Well, I... Well, I... 
なめんじゃないわよ She then grabs my shirt collar and brings me closer to her by force. She was a very good one. 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 She was So you think that I'm the first person who's shattered those belief seals? So no second in Otorina, say? Me second in the Yasasia Segi Kanga. I see you hit parit the cotone. What forced me to be your bodyguard? Seregade Kaujo Sama no Mochiajis. Hey, mate, how about you don't interrupt others while they're talking, huh? Get Kyokuno Tokoro. You get on your canine. Tashka knew at a shimo. もしかしたらほんの少しわずかな可能性だけ強引なところがあったかもしれない事実があるような気がするからはっきり言うわ Are you fucking kidding me? Just maybe? Damn, she really doesn't like the bridge! 次のあんたの一言で決めるやるならやるやらないならやるどっちなの No matter what I say, I'm gonna end up doing it though Fuck's sake Take a very deep breath. Is it just me or does she actually look tense for the first time ever since we interacted back at the warehouse? Like, it's as if she's actually worried about what I may answer now, unlike when we were at the warehouse, where she was pretty cocky. Unfortunately, she returns to her normal self sec seconds after. Back to being a tough, cold bitch like before. Sure, I'll do this for a bit, that is. I don't really know exactly why I'm accepting this. Then again, I don't really belong anywhere. I guess I'll take a quick detour by being with her. So, so I guess taking a quick detour by being with her will not really matter that much in the grand scheme of things. I'll do it! I'll be your bodyguard! Damn, that's the coldest answer she's given me thus far. Okay, she smiled, I'll interpret that as a good thing. Break it to dart it out of the dining room right after I accepted to be her bodyguard. As for me, this girl is guiding me through the mansion, leading me to what is to become my own room. You're called Tsuki, right? Yes. My name is Tsuki. And you're one of the maids, as people call them. That's it? Nothing really, just wanted to ask us all. I've been working here for long. I don't have any questions. Looks like those stereotypical super serious maids from the stories I read. But again, I don't know if books correctly represented what a maid would be considered nowadays. Keeping this place clean must be a pain in the ass. It's me. You're giving me a short hand. <gasps> As she stops and turns around, followed with a silence staring at me for a bit. What? Huh? How's your deal? Whatever. I don't really like talking with others just because either way. After several twists, ups, and downs through the endless corridor, we finally arrive to where my bedroom is. There's a, the plain door separating the instant, uh, instance from the uh, corridor. My room is equally unadorned, but still exuding that feel of luxury. Uh, it does look very nice, actually. I bet that it's not even that impressive of a room from the perspective of whoever owns this house, but still. What if I want to buy myself a soda at a convenience store outside? Just getting out of this house is going to take a painful amount of time. I was joking, okay? What, is there a curfew and I can't go out at night? That's okay, I don't take this job seriously, so that doesn't apply to me. <sighs> she completely did a 180 just now. Looks like I'm gonna have to. Fr ha looks like I'm gonna have my first hater here sooner than I expect imagined. So what am I supposed to do now? Mm. Just joking. Sound like borderline bullying to me. What the hell's wrong with this maid? Whatever, I'll figure it out by myself. It must be hard to be a shitty maid to have a shitty maid like you around here, so do your best too. It must be hard to be a shitty maid like you around here. So do your best too. 
She then bows her head for just a moment and leaves the room. Good God. Ah! Ah! Scream as she peeks her head inside the room. No! She says as she hands me a black smartphone. It's like one of the newer models. Going to rouse porn sites with this. Damn, how do you know that? You tried before? She says along with a snarky laugh. In any case, I just have to answer within the three rings thingy, yeah. それ Didn't a certain someone tell me to do that just moments ago? Oh really, that's news to me. Okay then, what's the limit to the number of rings before I answer my personal phone then? Okay, you're asking for beating at this point. それから携帯は使用には利用しないで。友達と深夜に永遠と電話されたら他金が持ったいないから。ちょっとペニペンチュースアンティレッチ。でも心配はいらないですね。登録したくてもあなた友達いないでしょ。Yes. <laughs> Look at that smugness. I sure excel when it comes to making fun of us. Sorry to you, Shokuwa. Kimate Gogo Stijikara to Natemas. You Shokuni Okureta Sagiri Kaito, a Shokuji on the Kareri Sodes Node. Damn, talk about being mean to me alone. Shokuwa, Gozen Lokuji Karade. Kyujit no Chu Shokuwa Juniji Karades. Breakfast at 6 in the morning? God damn, that's early. She leaves the room without making a single sound. Can't sense her presence anymore, but I'm still wary. She could still be around. So I peek my head outside of the corridor and left, look left and right to make sure she's gone. She's gone for good now, huh? <sighs> I would expect the sequence of events to happen as fast as it did. I wonder what's going on at the Academy right now. The opening ceremony is probably over. People noticed I'm not present by now. Probably not since Kato and the others must be meeting their respective clients as of now and getting briefed about how this year is gonna work out for them. Actually, I wonder what Reika must be doing now. She got kidnapped around the time the ceremony was supposed to start. I'm sure it's over for everyone at the it's over for everyone at the academy, both ladies and bodyguards. Well, not like I care. I believe silence fills up the room. Maybe I should just take a long, self-deserved, well-deserved nap. Okay, I guess I won't. Ha ha! Four rings! Fuck you! Rebellion! The room's phone starts to ring. Save. I'll try to ignore it. It's still ringing. Nope. Alright, so I'm not gonna answer. The die is cast. The phone's still ringing now. <laughs> Destroy the phone! I feel like doing something crazy. Isn't life all about learning from your mistakes after all? I then curl one hand into a fist and punch the phone receiver, causing it to fall to the floor. <laughs> I laugh as I keep kicking the receiver on the floor over and over again. What was once a phone receiver is now nothing more than a bunch of scrap. Try ringing now, bitch! There's a small static sound coming from it now, but nothing more. Oh, the nap time! Smashing the phone to pieces has brought me peace, so now all I want to do is nap. Okay, never mind, I don't feel sleepy anymore. Also, can you stop creeping into the room without me noticing? I have indeed, you are now free from your curse. You could have been. It fell. 
I can see the logo of AT&T here though. Yeah, it's a little bit of a thing. I'm going to play dirty. I'm going to play dirty. You play dirty. Ma, the phone is going to be a little bit. Take a look at the outside view from the window as I'm being led by Tsuki to wherever Reika is. <laughs> what the fuck was any of that? Load it? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Nah, fuck it. Let's stay with that. Mansion's garden is in full view from here. It's beautiful. Clearly well taken care of. These people definitely flex their wealth, all right. Do maids get paid well for their jobs? Then there's no response. I take a look. I uh, look to my front once more and realize Suki isn't there anymore. Great. Now she's got lost and I have to look for her. What hopeless bum she is. Wait a second. I'm the one who's lost, not her. How am I supposed to get to her? Anywhere in this fucking labyrinth of a mansion? Huh? Because on my side, right as I start looking for someone to ask where that place the Reika wants me to go. Where the place is that Reika wants me to go, I happen to spot an old guy heading my way through the corridor. Oh, good thing I found you. Can I ask you for a direction? Nanda kisama wa? Quite the attitude this guy has. Judging by how he's walking and how he's dressed, he's definitely not a bodyguard. Maybe he's a butler, I've seen maids around here, so it must be. I want to go to the study, you say? Shosai da to. One that doesn't concern you. A butler, right? <laughs> anyway, can he help me get to the study? He declares proudly as he briskly heads in the direction he was initially heading to. Hey, that's where I came from? Oh, so this is where the study is. Right again, Suki already waiting in front of the door. Oh, I see the problem. Master? Telling me this old geezer is the master? Suki, Masaka Reika ga itte ita no wa kono otoko no koto jan nai da ro na. Ie, sore wa, sou yo. Sou itsu ga watashi no bodyguard. Tachibanashi mo nan desu no de, shosai ni o haire kudasai. As I enter the study, I recognize a certain someone already waiting inside of it. Kaito! Hey son, look down now, see, what are you doing here? それは僕のセリフだ。なんでここにお前がいる。コイジ、that's what I'm doing here. Save me. <笑>宮川様は、あやお嬢様の。この男は、霊華お嬢様のボディーガードです。You could have called me by my name, you know? か、カイトが、霊華お嬢様のボディーガードを。静粛に。だ、し、失礼しました。私がこの屋敷の主。二階堂玄蔵だ。今日は私の娘たちがそれぞれのボディーガードを連れてくると聞きこの場にいるわけだが宮川貴則です綾お嬢様のボディーガードをさせていただくことになりましたよろしくお願いしますうんパウワッチ I could just hit my stomach with her elbow 挨拶よ挨拶、うん、All right uh, what a bother, but I guess I gotta do it. Ah, uh, Masaki to cut the nice knowing you and stuff. <laughs> I can see a vein popping at his forehead. Masaki? Oh, you have a problem with my surname or something, huh? Kisama, how much of a bitch is this? This is the Sasuke's bodyguard. That's right. Do you have any questions? I'm going to go to the door and go to the door. Maybe I'm stretching it, but I'll take that as a compliment. それぞれ特技はあるかね自分は柔道空手をはじめとする格闘技です、うん、なかなかに立派だな君はスケールさんないの I mean if I was forced to say some I guess I'm pretty good at lockpicking なんだと Like opening bicycle locks and breaking vending machines open you know the deal <laughs> <laughs> I pride myself on that fact, why thank you. <laughs> you flatter me, I'm not that big of a deal. Kairi! The man shreds off his lambskin, revealing the true beast hiding, with in hiding within, a rabbit wolf seeking for blood. Okay, I got the message, bye. Kairi, <laughs> And you don't hit me! Oh, Tosama. Yaksoku shita jari masenka. Nani? 
私が認めたものなら反対はしないとあれはお前が誰もボディーガードにつけようとしなかったからだそれがなんだこれは確かに態度はカスだけどねでもボディーガードに必要なのは実力よ実力そうなのかね宮川君ねあいや君のように首席で家庭を終えたのなら納得もできるがどうなのかね彼の実力はそれは礼華に遠慮することなく本当のことを言って何者にも臆さない度胸は持ち合わせておりその点は立派だと思います Like, listen up. I know you. I know it's a case of like,、oh, we gotta be respectful, so clearly no shit talking, so you gotta be nice about these things. しし oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, Hoka no mono ni otore bubun gari. Tigets ya hijoji no tayo luk ni wa. Mono tari nai bubun mo aru kato. Kekka de kini kyo chow se to se kyo se ni kake. Hijou ni fu ante na body guard da to. Boku a kangai mas. Da so da. Watashi ni wa. こいつがそいつに劣ってるとは思えないわね。Well, there, don't hurt his feelings too much. とにかく、私はこいつ以外をボディーガードにする気はないから、誰も警護する人間をつけないで私に外出されるのと、こいつでもそばに置いて外出されるの、どっちがいいのレルカゼロよりは1でしょ決まりね。Damn, she shut him up just like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Genzo then leaves the room, unable to hide his rage. Way to force his hand. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Can I go back to my room now? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What do you want? Nani gata? Do you could a deco Joseph on a bodyguard on the key t e n i z o Yeah, I didn't know until today either. Case of Sigil Skinny Tena Katana. Shit happened. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, dude. You're freaking me out. Boka me to me nizo. Deco Joseph on a bodyguard on a t e I mean, I don't want to acknowledge it myself either, to be honest with you. Yeah. I want to die. <laughs> Pretty much. Let me see you. Because I'm apparently anything but serious. Tawagoto. I'm a bit of 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 I remember him telling me that he hated my ass back when we were at the training facilities too, tons of times. Say, say, I'm going to go. Are you going to? Hey, I'm going to go. Don't you think I'm going to go? Because my room's in the same direction. Here, I'm going to go. Sure. We then enter our respect own respective rooms. Well, then, I've got nothing to do now. I'm back to my room now, which is good, but I don't have anything here to entertain myself with. I just could play some video games right, now, right about now or something. I have neither a TV nor video games in here, though. It's still boring. I roll around in my bed for a while, but I don't feel sleepy at all. Because it depends on where you work at, but、uh, just like the maid said, we bodyguards don't really have much free time, do we? I mean, I'm more or less allowed to do whatever within the mansion, but I'm pretty sure I'm not even allowed to go out or anything like that. So fucking boring. What about the son's doing in this room? Maybe he's doing that. He's a guy, after all, we all need to do it from time to time. Maybe he's been holding it in ever since he moved from the dorms and is now unloading his old arsenal. Nah,、no, I don't feel like interacting with him. Hell no, I'm not going there. I don't think he's do he'll be doing that, of all things, right in the middle of the afternoon. He's the type of guy who would do that in the bathroom to avoid people catching him. Ah,、uh, whatever. Close your eyes, Kaito. Try to sleep. It's not that late into the day, but I'll just take a nap. I'm actually pretty tired, all things considered. A lot has happened today. I'll be it very quietly. I can still hear the door to my room slowly open. I think I'm awake, pretending to be asleep. Otherwise, I would have never heard that. 
experience is giving me really bad vibes right now. I was approaching me, can be, I can barely notice their presence as the tiptoeing sounds approach me. Is it sun? Did it come here to kill me? The fact that I, I can't actually discard that as an unironic possibility is terrifying. The tiptoes get near my bed and I hear a small sigh right after. Oh, it's the maid. Again? Last time she called for me was less than 30 minutes ago. What does she want now? Tell that fun outside then. It'd wake me up, but in the other world. はい、クリビングに行ってください。今後壊すような真似はやめてください。じゃあ、you Right outside where a black shiny car is waiting for us. A Benz? That's how you know you've made in life. The one who seems like the chauffeur opens the back door to, of the car. This Oh, come on, isn't going back calm or enjoyable? Does she hate cars too now? I mean, she agreed to go back car, but still. Once Rekka gets into the car, I follow suit. So, where are we heading? あんたは黙ってついてきなさい。本来ボディーガードは黙ってついてくるものよ。Argument I would use serious bodyguards. Don't forget that the fact that I'm not serious was the whole reason you hired me. I. But let me ask you something. Why didn't you just go to the opening ceremony today? Why didn't you go to the opening ceremony today? Kudaranai kara yo. Huh? <laughs> hey, what did you mean by that? Urusai, tamare. What the hell, man? She's gonna leave. So she's just gonna leave me hanging in the dark, just like that? Tomete. She says, making the chauffeur stop the car in the middle of the road. She looks back, clearly worried about the situation. Shinpai before the chauffeur can complain any further, she quickly hops from off the car. What are you up to? Like, what does she want to do here? She says as she points towards a pet store. The building that the store occupies is gigantic and pretty cool looking. It's a bit chain from a large corporation or something. This is a それから今日は荷物持ちもいるからスプリングボックは持って帰らせるわ。はい、かしこまりました。今回も極上のお取り寄せでございます。I remember that being in the description of my job. I see some of the store members carry a pretty big cardboard box from the door that leads to the back, back store. What? To the back store, yeah. It's being carried by two guys. What the? <laughs> uh, yeah. Take the package from them. Oh, <laughs> this is pretty heavy, alright. What? What the hell's in sight that weighs that much? Yeah. Why did you tell them to give me the box now then? As I say, I say as I start to crouch ready to leave the box on the floor. Why? Are you fucking kidding me? Give me a reason right now if you want me to keep holding in this. Whore? Literally Satan himself or self's over here. She says as she vanishes inside the store. She's a f she's a character, huh? I say to the employees who for some reason are still smiling as before. How about you stop wagging your tails for these rich assholes? They're still smiling? Oh. Smile aside, judging by how they're looking at me, they don't seem to be particularly happy about what I said though. 
can only imagine what they're thinking. Isn't this asshole literally doing that too? Uh, my bad. I realize my hypocrisy. I half-heartedly apologize. After waiting for a bit, I start to notice a pretty foul smell coming from inside the box. What the? I ask myself as I free my right hand to open the box while I keep holding it with the other one. Uh -huh. Hey, what did you make? Why did you make that sound? <laughs> Reach my hand into the box lid once more. <gasps> what was that all about now, then, huh? <laughs> you don't want me to open this? <gasps> okay, man, I will. You thought, bitch! Having outsmarted the clerk during our short and stupid exchange, I put my right hand on the flex tape ready to rip it off. <laughs> to which he quickly reacts by rushing to where I am, intending to stop me from opening the box. But right th at that <laughs> moment. Okay, can I put the box on the floor now? It's stupidly heavy. Huh? Don't tell me you're gonna have me hop on the car while carrying the... And I just leave it in the trunk? What do you even mean? Huh? Place my eyes on the cardboard box, even more noticing how it's leaking from below. So I'm gonna care, end up carrying this until we get home? Fuck me, man, this is heavy. Didn't you tell me not to put it on the floor until you told me so? Why are you so surprised? Number four. Cooks line themselves up in front of me, all quit with masks and gloves. Just as she commands, I quickly give the box to them. They proceed to take it and rushes out the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Not quite. My ass, they say that. With Suki's classic insults, I head towards the bathroom. Wait a sec, where is the bathroom even located at? This is my first day here. After clean, cleanly ignoring what I said, she then starts to guide me through the corridor. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> just as I'm coming out of the bath, of course you have to call for me again. Just great. That's the third time today. What an incredible experience living here has been so far. Who again? ヘアで飼ってるペットのこと。ヘアで飼ってるペットのこと。私より動物が嫌いだから反対するけど。私より動物が好きな愛は、お父様が怖くて飼えてないの。ヘアで飼ってるペットのこと。私より動物が好きな
Ah, so it is those guys my future replacement. Oh, there we go, it's still a cub. Good thing this isn't an adult cheetah. I'd be pissing my pants if it was, that was the case. Doesn't matter how much you struggle, little guy. You're not biting me again. <laughs> what the? Pain runs through my right leg this time. Be more clear from the start. The cubs are now playing over Raker's lab. Uh, those are adorable, actually. <laughs> ah! The moment I try to pet him, they start hissing like crazy, though. Looks like you have a well trained. I'm not sure if you're a boss, but I'm not sure if you're a boss. 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 Very true. I wasn't expecting your room to be the same as mine. I'm not sure if you're a boss. I'm not sure if you're a boss. Like, I was looking forward to seeing some grandiose rumors or something like that, considering you're a Nikaido and that stuff. You're a Nikaido. You have a point. I bet you snore like an elephant. Yeah. Ah! Why? It's already dinner time, and you eat in your room. I'm not a snore. I'm not a snore. I'm not a snore. I'm not a snore. When Tsuki comes in, the cheetahs start wagging their tails. Spring box, you say. Isn't that what was inside that box? He's carrying a pretty expensive looking plate. It's topped to the brim with raw meat chunks. Oh, so that's what was inside. She could have told me that there was chunks of meat inside. I don't know why she would just tell me before. No, that was the live animal. Won't your room get pretty dirty if you feed a mirror? Worry not, that'll never happen. Okay, she's definitely right on that one. Her words will not will forever remain close to my heart. Thanks, Tsuki. Wait, I gotta feed him. Do they even have names? <laughs> it looks so similar, I guess the names have to sound similar as well. It's the one with the moon on the forehead called Sonata. And this one is Kanata. Because Moonlight Sonata. If it is, I'm going to shoot you. <sighs> well, leave it to the master then. Take two pieces of meat and place them inside of my mouth. Bonding with the little guys. Move my face to where the cheetahs are and face them with my mouth open, offering the meat inside. They do as I expect. I know they don't like me, but instead of chomping my face just now, they just took the meat and ignored my ass. Giving them the food like this will associate a positive view of me in their mind. Eventually, they'll see me as a friend. By the time they're done eating, they'll be buddies. Or so I thought. <gasps> okay, it'll take more time than I initially assumed. How? Why? Sanagara. Thank you so much, Reika. You're being very helpful right now. <coughs> they bit my face as I should have expected. Fuck, it hurts. Gotta remember that although they're cubs, they're still predators. Their sharp teeth hurt like a bitch. What a place this is, though. It's just as big as the entire school campus, and it's very well taken care of. Always clean, looking fresh. This girl literally has cheetahs as pets, instead of dogs like any normal person. It's as if this place was disconnected from the reality of the rest of the world. Maybe I should start writing a diary detailing these extraordinary life experiences I'm having. Actually, never mind. Just thinking about it has already given me a headache. Ah, I wish there was at least a TV in this room! Wait a second, I have the personal phone, don't I? Let me pull it out and see if I can. Nice, there's an app installed from which I can watch all TV channels. Looks like I'll be able to kill some time with this. Um, no, what kind of shows are aired these days? So I'll just surf through the channels and see what's up. After a bit, I end up finding a pretty interesting program. It's called Law and Law Lawless. Episode uh, 168. In which uh, Cold Ice is trying to wrap his head around what a sex addiction is. I am joking, of course. I am joking, of course. 
こんばんは今週も禁止区域についてお話を伺いたいと思います自治体や支援団体が今週も派遣されることになりました退去を願う運動ということでしょうか Let me guess. Restricted zone is where he was born, and it's co- like completely lawless land. So, no, Tori, this. A tarashi shoko shokai shi, teya chin ni yoru juku nado no teki o tonarimas. Shka shi, ima ma demo so ita dantai o haken shi te, shi pai ni wat ti mas yo ne. Prohibited zone. Every city has one of those, even Gyoto. The area where supposedly all of Japan's evil spawns are so them, some say. People like to claim out of their ass that 90% of Japan's worst criminals live there. And to be truthful, they'd be most likely right. 悲しいことですが、団体の人間が彼らの被害に遭ったことも事実です。政府の方の中には、強制退去させるべきだという声も上がっておりますが、私は断固反対です。もしも警察の人間が一体に踏み込んだ場合、恐ろしいほどの被害者が出るでしょう。それでも強行すべきだという姿勢もあるようです。先日、政治家の問題発言がありました。もはや、禁止区域に住まう者は人間ではない。視聴者の皆様の記憶にも新しいと思われます。Not even humans to begin with, huh? Ironic that a person classifies another individual as non-human just because. インターネットなどでは、大量虐殺を呼びかける声も上がっているそうですそこで凶悪犯罪者を排除すれば今の日本は平和への道をたどるとあまりに非人道的すぎるももちろんその通りですが一部にはそう考える者も,もいるということで玉をぶっ潰すどうだなお前らひよこは時に過ちを犯す Remember this? There are around a hundred of us in the gymnasium when this happened. Was last year. There are quite a few of us still. ボディーガードとプリンシパルは近しい存在なれど親しい間柄ではない共に生活する中で淡い恋心を抱く奴らも少なくないお前らはどうなんだ我々は過ちを犯しません声も玉も小さいぞ我々は過ちを犯しません万一にでも過ちを犯したらボディーガードとしての資格だけでなく今後未来までも剥奪されると知れオーラ聞いてるかあーさげれー Looks like that's one of my life's moments I'll never forget! It's morning. I know what I've expected having a dream about my instructor telling me not to screw shit up on my first day on the jo- at the job. I get fallen in love with that midget. Get out of bed and ready myself. I would have thought that I'd end up going back to the academy. Back to being tied down by rules and schedules. Come the fuck on so early in the morning! Who is it? Is there anything wrong with that? Unfortunately for you, I don't have any issues waking up early. In fact, what I tend to do is wake up and linger on the bed for an ungodly amount of time before getting out of it. I'm just a bed bum if you catch my dress. Drift, drift. Anyway, do you want something? Or otherwise, I'm hanging up. She hung up on me. Man, she should learn that she's a servant and I'm a buffer when it comes to authority. Place myself in front of the room's mirror as I get changed to my uniform. Never thought I'd wear this again. It's time from the day I'm going to be attending at NO Academy as Reika's bodyguard. I don't know why I ended up, getting, ended up accepting. I promised her that I'd do it if she fulfilled my demands. She intentionally took my words in a literal way. So I would have been in the right not to follow through. I guess it was because deep inside I felt like I did accept it. My life, that, that if I did accept it, my life wouldn't be boring at all. Every day will be different. However, I'm not made to protect other people. Or 
already have my hands full covering my own ass. So does everyone else in the society. I want to feel forced to protect someone I don't even know. Yeah, I'm willingly doing just that. Fucking hell. Thanks to my room by mere coincidence, eh? Huh? Thanks to my room by mere coincidence, I happen to do so at the same time as Sun does. I'd rather call it destiny. Mattaku. None of us want to be together, but the dining hall's in the same direction. Nobody will aware that. Nara, jitai shiro. Sore ga kisama no tame demo aru. I'll consider it. <laughs> I know that you hate me and all, but aren't you a wee bit too mean to me? We both know very well that you're way better than I am, so why are you so mad? Kanke nai. Dore dake jisruk saga aru to, teki wa teki da. Why is he so salty? He explained why he wanted to be Rega's bodyguard at the closing ceremony, but I can't really remember what it was exactly. Aren't you getting meaner as time passes, or is it just me? Now the servants and private security officers are lining the desks or desk already. It looks like the lady and their family eat elsewhere. But again, it's pretty early in the morning. For all I know, they could still be sleeping. You eat here too? Your your Must be pain in the ass to look after pricks, huh? Says the maid as she bows her head while the other servants and maids and personnel leave the room after they have finished eating. <laughs> As she bows the sun, her head bumps against them. Oi, kiyotsuketukure. Fuku ga yogoreru daro. Sumimasen. Mentally challenged. Kongo wa kiyotsuketukure. Hai. Damn, this place is bustling. Kokoro wo hazumase teru shinnyusei ga oi kara desho. I bet there. I bet you were cold out a bitch as you are now in your first year, first year here. Anta wa. Maybe. Rika leads the charge into the school building and I follow suit. As we headed towards our classroom, I felt many stairs directed towards us. Both ladies and bodyguards are speaking peace in their minds as we pass through them. Even the bodyguards that weren't trained in this academy.誰も思ってなかったみたいだから。<笑> He's almost as small as Reina, just a tad bit taller. Uh, let me let me save the potential thumbnail. She looks like a proud girl, someone like Reika is. Behind her is someone that I know all too well. Quite the lady indeed. このボディガード優秀なの?それは成績って意味で。当たり前でしょ?下から5番目。下から5番目?本当に完璧を受賞する2回と例下の目はとんだ節穴ってわけ。And <笑> she is. <laughs> she is definitely trying to make fun of her. In a way, Reika has a point, but that girls are noticeably diff bigger than her. I'm a bodyguard, not a hitman. Looks like she knows Yuki's an no she knows Yuki is an android. Hey, watch your language. Sure. So 
So as our class doesn't have any more like him. As I entered the classroom, I realized there's someone else I know inside. Ohayou, Kaito. So you're in my class too. How do you so? Who's the principal? This is Reikou's daughter. Hello. Kaito looks at me surprised. Is it Kaito's principal? Is it that surprising? I don't think I can answer my questions. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Then I'm going to take a seat. You can take a that's something I'd like to know as well! I explained everything that happened yesterday to Kaoru. Leaving aside the fact that I tried to withdraw from the academy. I told him that I just wanted to skip the opening ceremony that day. If that was destiny, then I didn't need it. But then, Kaito was to Alright! I forgot about that. After I gave Satoka the withdrawal letter on the day of this closing ceremony, I obviously never ended up getting assigned to anyone. I forgot. You know, I tend to not pay attention to things. You're the only one here without a, your client, though. You, you, you're gonna be good attending all the classes alone. Understandable. Why are you gonna be staying, by the way? Kanzaki sama no yasuki de hito hea kashite itadaku koto ni natta. Ah, so you too. I guess that's what everyone gets. Kaito mo ka? Yeah, I mean, son, since we're protecting Reika and her sister Aya respectively whenever we go out. Dochira ka to ieba, watashi tachi no hou ga mezurashii da rou na. Really? Watashi tachi wa bodyguard to itte mo shosen minarai. Taitei wa学園の中だけ守ってることが多いらしい。外出時には親が雇ったボディーガードと外出することがほとんどだそうだ。<笑> Same. The chime rings, signaling the start of the first period. As I didn't attend yesterday, I don't even know who's gonna be our homeroom teacher this year. I'll ask Kaoru, he'll know. Hey, who's our homeroom teacher? Is it gonna be another one of those uh, gorilla type instructors? Like, they, they, they'll throw you out the window if you open your mouth and shit? <laughs> so, no, I can't do it. Is it gonna be one of them crazy fellows that's always fiddling with a knife and looks at you with a murderous intent? I guess you're right. Okay, so it's a woman. I think it myself as class door class's door suddenly opens. I'm into it. <laughs> yes. This. She seems she she seems spunky. She seems nice. She has a pencil skirt and a choker. I'm about it. <laughs> I'm bad. What a cheerful way to present yourself. I'm gonna lost for words right now. Uh, it's it's nothing. Okay, I have to forget that horrible thing that lingered on my mind just now. Is it my imagination or did seeing her just remind me of two very sharp knives for some reason? Oh yeah, oh yeah.
Cat has not a, no video for it. I was looking for uh, Tokyo Xanadu, a core just screaming Hiragi for the 10,000th ta ta time because he can't shut up about it. <laughs> like, seriously. He screams Hiragi way too fucking frequently. Like, motherfucker. Come on. Calm down, please. Like she's pretending to be cheerful at all. Yeah. That was a boring class's boring class end, we finally get to lunch break. Karu immediately stands up and have lunch together. Oh, you don't have to go to the class. I'm going to go to the class. I'm going to go to the class. I'm going to go to the class. I had this job already. また後で。一つ聞いてもいい。わあ、what yeah, right until two weeks ago, you were one of them. So, I'm not going to go to the hospital. Eh? I'm not going to go to the hospital. I'm not going to go to the hospital. Oh, if that's the case, that means I don't have to eat with you, right? <sighs> what a drag. What a drag. What a drag. What a drag. What about my God given right to freedom of speech? I'm not your personal butler. Ask someone else to be a bellboy. She pierces me back with a glare. Why, well, no, I know there's no one else if she can ask but me. Look, you can ask us guys over there, and I'm joking, okay? Remember that I'm a bodyguard, not your servant. Got it? Aren't I smart? I know how cafeterias are normally depicted in manga and such, but this one is definitely not like one of those. There are no students fighting each other to line up for the food. Uh, there is not even a counter to get the food from. The classes and everything else are the same as the ones we had at the training academy, but the cafeteria is clearly different. Frickin' rich kids school. <sighs> Isn't this a first come first serve with tables? Why is that all I say? For the regular to wear her table is placed beside the window with plenty of sunlight. Pretty nice positioning. So this seat is all yours? So you She says that she takes a seat. More than four people would be able to use this table, and you're telling me this is for personal use? Actually I can see you using this alone for the entirety of the last year. Take a glance over at the menu. Yeah, there's no price the prices attached to the plates. How much do each of these cost? Oh, I see. Interesting to know. <laughs> yeah, but My bad, I guess. If everything's free, that means I can go all out there. What if I start from the bottom? Okay, she's definitely not kidding when she says that. I'll take it easy then. Jen presses a button placed on the table, instantly making a maid approach us and take Reiko's order. This place is pretty crowded and we didn't have to wait a single bit for someone to come and take our order. Talk about what? My what again? I think I already presented my CV like a year ago, and shouldn't you have access to all my data through the person provi per information provided by the tra training facility? And what do you want me to explain? Oh, come on, I bet there's lots of CVs like those. 
あんたの過去が一切わからないってことよ入学前はどこに住んでいたのか両親の職業は何なのか何もわからずじまい That's because I am no one and I serve the faceless God. ボディーガードの窓口は広い。興味半分で合格したって。一年も持たないから。Damn, she completely ignored my shitty banter. We got ourselves the night queen over here. でも素性のわからない人間を合格させるほど。馬鹿げたことはしないはず。あんた、誰が学費を払ってるのこのことを佐竹に聞いても、黙り込むだけだし。Unfortunately, it looks like our conversation's over. You said we'd talk until food arrived, didn't you? Another maid brings each one of us a plate with our food, wishing us to have a great meal. It's not even worth talking about in the first place. Not a dog, quit it. じゃないと食わさないわよ。Woof. I feel like all my brain cells are slowly dying. いつ知的になったのよ。Stop reading my mind, thanks. 単純なだけでしょ。それで、結局のところあの男はどうなのどうって何が大したボディーガードじゃないみたいだけど。ああ、カイトのことそうよ。データ見る限りじゃ底辺も底辺だけどあの腹黒い霊華がボディーガードにつけたのよ何かあるに決まってる何かね体術総合評価28位頭脳総合評価30位うわっカイトのデータ持ち歩いてるのかよ霊華に関することはチェックしてるのなんでライバル意識出すかねどう考えても霊華お嬢様の方が10枚も20枚も上手じゃん黙っててポンコツあんたには私の優秀さがわからないんだからえいえいあんなにボディーガードはいらないなんて豪語してたくせによしユウキあの男を半殺しにしてきてなんだよそれボディーガード同士の争いはごハットだぜ喧嘩一つ許されてないことは知ってるだろう<笑>とにかくあいつは大したことないってことでいいのさあどうかなはっきりしないな俺もカイトに関しては測りきれてないんだよねあいつはきっと何かある<笑>あんたのプログラムノーじゃ手にならない考えるだけ無駄だってまあそれもそっか何があっても私が上に変わりはないしその自信がどこから来るのやら<笑>もっと可愛げのあるお嬢様がよかったうるさい After a long day, class has finally come to an end Okay, Carl, let's go to the arcade 何学生みたいなこと言ってるんだ I just thought that proposing something random would make you follow the flow, you feel me? 帰るわよ Yeah, sure. I hate having no freedom to do anything. But then again, I could always ignore Reika's ass and do whatever the hell I feel like doing. Let's be rational about this. Let's go crazy! I'll ponder this question in the bathroom. I'll be right back. I have decided, fuck the establishment. Let's go crazy. Reka. I really need to go. Sure thing, just give me a few hours and I'll be back home after. I declare as I dash out of the classroom. <laughs> I know hell will await for me after I'm back, but my desire for adventure surpasses my fear of the impending punishment. Anyway, now that I've successfully managed to escape from that monster, I... One... One more sec, that must be the part. I shall wander outside of school. What am I, a fucking pussy? 
<laughs> I'm young. I should be making the most out of it out here, out there. Students like me aren't like the other students from different schools, though. Here we learn what it means to sacrifice yourself to protect, your cl protect the client. Should have thought this through. I feel dumb. Probably should just go back to where Reika is. Hey, Reika, I was just joking. Let's go on. She's carrying her bag and is about to get out of the class. She was legit going to go home just like that. You're just asking to be kidnapped again, aren't you? You sure like to take your chances whenever you can. It's like she's oblivious to the fact that there's dangers out there and going alone is just asking for trouble. Anyway, let's go home together. More or less. The couples of ladies and their respective bodyguards leave the school ready to go home. For a normal person, you could easily look like real couples, but the reality is quite different. I have a question. Okay, then I'll just talk to myself. Our ladies not allowed to have relationships at all. I already know well that ladies are off limits to look for us bodyguards, but the system only allows for men to be bodyguards in the first place. What's your language that disturbed me? You're implying that we're too low level for you ladies or what? ボディーガードに移つを抜かすお嬢様が現れたとしても、そんなのは実現しないわ。She then shuts up. Maybe the parents of the ladies are vehemently against them going out with their bodyguards. I understand that most of these girls tend to be married to other noble dudes, and if they had or have a relationship before that happens, I can see it causes some issues. 獣のように腰を振りたかったら、教師にでも手を出すことね。毎年少なからずいるみたいだから。Relationships between students and teachers are forbidden anyway. Anyway, anything implying feelings of any kind is prohibitive around here. Kanzaki, I've heard that name before. Alright, Kaoda's client, both of them have their sexy asses, uh, uh, move their sexy asses towards the gate. And uh, Wait, not Kaoru. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the button for C fucking. Mm. I tried to take a screenshot, I'm a dumbass. Any case, they're heading towards the school gate. Talking about what happened to a previous bodyguard. That's why they sent Karu to her this year, even though they're one year apart from each other. What the hell did he get himself in for that to happen? Why did he try to do that to her? So I guess he got what he deserved for breaking the rules. The regulations of the place are pretty strict. If you try to do anything to your client, then prepare to face whatever consequences come to you. Damn, that's tragic. しかし、あんたには緊張感がないわね。but to be honest, the very concept of that training is flawed. At most, a normal person can only last 30 minutes in such a state of caution. Any more than that, and you're just asking to be attacked, and you won't be as prepared as before. And this especially replied to, applies to Kaoru and Son, who are on their toes all the freaking time. Making them easier targets than, they, than what they think they are. Now check it out, Reika. This is where you got kidnapped the, the other day. The scam I'm surrounding is that for a split second I get a bad feeling about something. 
But the bad guys from the other day get arrested in the end. Uh-huh. Maybe. Oh, Yo, clean the place like a champ, huh? Watch your mouth. <laughs> Why do you even make one for the black sheep and the maids here? Stop. What the hell did you just say? She's a failure, isn't it obvious? Hmm. Oh, it looks like she's just gonna kill the maids and the maids. That's on her and on me. Thought she was assigned to me because she was the most incompetent of them all. What? Okay, well there. She's implying that Tsuki can clean this entire place alone, not take days. Maid is the one who is responsible for cleaning the house. The one who is responsible for I do admit she's good at what she does. To think that she's younger than me stings quite a bit as well. Maybe as a worker, but not as a human. Yeah, really. やしきの中にいる間は自由にしていいわ。ただし、外出は禁止よ。オッケー。それから支給された携帯電話は常に身につけておくこと。電源をオフにしないで。コールがあったらすぐに出て。以上よ。Probably into her own room to rest or some. What should I do? I was kind of curious. Guess I'll go to Ai's room and see what's up. Then again, I don't know where her room is in the first place. Pull up my phone, open the contacts folder. Among the options, there's one that catches my eye. Tsuki Pai. Tsuki Pai. I don't like to give a damn about it. Moshi Moshi. Alice asks. She only took one ring of her at her ass. Who is that? Oh. Looks like she doesn't know. It's me who's calling. Who is that? You know, all along... Who is that? I didn't. Just tell me where I was your room is. Why do you assume I do assume I'm going to do something bad. Wait, really? So... Well, do you really hate me that much? <sighs> Whatever. Yes, this bum. Since Suki's just gonna fuck with me, I'll just look for the damn room myself. Oh, it's like a horrible sound. It sounds like one of those terrible arcade game death screen themes. Wait a second, that's my ringtown. What I'm calling me is Tsuki Pai. I yeah, just ignore her ass. Actually, now I'll set her straight. But she didn't make that much fun of me, right? Actually, no, man, she went, mine, she went out of way overboard. What the fuck do you want now? I'll, I'll crack your skull up and have your brains for this. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Nice strategy, Tsuki. She planned it all out. I'll try to call again. We're sorry we have reached a number that has been disconnected and is no longer. She had me in the palm of her hand all this time. You've won this battle, but not the war. It's dinner time. I remember being told that if I arrived late, I'd be deprived of my food. 
It could be one of the maze crew jokes, but I can see you're doing that anyway, so I'll head to the dining room ASAP. Yeah, that was delicious. I like the dorms, the food here is on another level. It's not like the food at the dorms was bad or anything, but there's quite a difference between them. This is probably one of the few things that makes me not regret choosing to be a bodyguard here. <laughs> oh, Aya, Sud's still eating if you're looking for him. Uh, yeah, I think we never had a chance to talk to each other ever since that time at the school gate. It was a pretty sudden decision for everyone. Is she really Rake's sister? Not only is she the opposite of Rake when it comes to her personality, she's also the opposite in physical terms, let's say. Coercion. Wait, question you're asking me? Normally, the ladies choose their bodyguards because they like something about them specifically, don't they? <laughs> I will admit that my situation is somewhat exceptional, though she forced me to accept. There's nothing else to it. So this What disease would that even be? He screams at me, his eyes completely wide open. He's a good guy deep inside, just be patient with him. そこ。お嬢様に近づきすぎだ。それに、こそこそと会話するな。私から話しかけたんです。ごめんなさい。あやお嬢様が謝る必要はどこにもありません。そもそもここにいることが二階堂家にとって最悪のことなんですから。貴様も自分の身分を今一度確認しろ。What's the difference between you and me in the first place? We're both bodyguards, so I don't get where that ego of yours is stemming from. 何をバカな。貴様は僕に救われた人間だ。それを同じボディーガードとして見られたら困るな。Okay, it's the thing. I don't agree with him being like, uh, what's the difference between you and me? What, huh, huh? Like, he is being, he is the ranked highest in the class, while he is the ranked lowest. There is, uh, like, the fifth lowest. There is a reason for him to be like, why the fuck are you this important person's bodyguard when you're still acting like such a lackadaisical asshole? But I'm the reason you're here in the first place? Fuck off, Takanori! それに僕の家は、代々優勝正しき家系だ。二階堂家と比べるほどではないが、それなりの資産力もある。それに比べて貴様はどうだ。朝霧など聞いたこともないじゃないか。これだけ古市八部が違えば、当然同じ身分であろ
Next to myself as I'm heading towards my room, there's a small loose fiber inside my pocket. It's from the suit. In any case, it's trash. So I'll into a small ball and throw it on the floor. Step, 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 clonk. Pain runs through my head, accompanied by that metallic sound. Uh, Tsuki. Just a small piece of fiber. In a sense, I suppose I did. Nah, that wasn't my intention, chill. Then crouch and take it back, take back the piece of fiber I threw. Well, I don't Sounds to me that you were just trying to sound cool and say policy at the same time for the edgy points. Uh, sure. For some reason I can't find it in myself to retort anything right now. Okay, my bad, I didn't think about it. She has a point for being angry. She works her ass off to keep the place clean every day, so I can't see why she did. Why what I did got her mad. Uh, I wanna kill me or something? After a weird declaration, she then leaves as fast as she arrived. In any case, uh, no more throwing things around the place. Got it. Uh, so she basically forgave me this time. He's a good person deep inside, but how deep is the real question? Time to sleep. Get myself into bed. Lights to illuminate in the room. Looking back at the last year, I sure had to be an annoying roommate for Kaoru. Can't sleep with the lights off. Need to feel some sort of light source around me, otherwise I can't properly sleep. But there's other people just like me when it comes to this. The reason for not being able to sleep in the dark are probably different from other people's though. Close my eyes. Still feel the light, even with them closed. Good, I'll sleep all the night. There are no enemies here. Well, that rephrase that. Uh, there's no one I should be wary of around my area, more like. It doesn't take any long, very long, until I fall asleep completely. What? Phone's ringing? It's still dark outside. Okay, says it's just 4 a.m. Don't tell me your excellency Rika wants to go out now. Maybe she wants a late night snack or something? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Okay, I'm going. It's me, who is it? Has this maid lost her sanity? Is this a way to get back at me? Now then, I may be a gentleman, but even a gentleman won't be enraged by this. I'll sleep in your asshole! Creep inside the bed once more. <sighs> so sleepy. Mitsuki trying to prank me again. He gave you stupid pranks, it would all right be senseless. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck! <laughs> fuck you! You planted that all along and created this man that hasn't been standing with the eye in the first place! <laughs> Guess we're even now, huh? <laughs> みなさん、もう席に着いてます。早く入ってください。それから、美味しくご飯を食べる方法を教えてあげます。今日もご飯を食べさせてくれてありがとう、月様って言ってから食べるのがいいと思います。ラックスリーゴ。ユドンイムク
He looks pretty excited in any case. Looks like you're having fun with your assignment so far. Don't pretend that you don't get hard or mentally jerk off to the other ladies. So, you're not going to be able to do it. So, you're not going to be able to do it. He's just been programmed to not like her, that's all. So, you're not going to be able to do it. Nah, don't sweat it. Oh, you wouldn't believe us anyway. Last time starts. Our uh, first subject is math, and the teacher in charge of it is our homework teacher. But I don't think we're gonna need to take notes or get a book set or anything like that. Reason being, well. There you have it. What a fucking idiot. Even the other ladies are commenting. I can't believe he's asking that on it. Some of them are even face palming. あんた、私の恥になることわかってんの確かに私から紹介するのはごもっともね。私の名前はヒイラキアケミ。何か質問はある？でも彼みたいないやらしい質問は。Looks like no one's apart from Yuki's questions for her. From the look of things, I mean, teachers generally are just targeted with hopeless. This one is. Boyara, 一般の質問はないみたいですね。やはりちょっとサービス的な質問にも答えてくださいよ。うん、仕方ないな。じゃ、一つだけ聞いてあげる。よし。He says while striking a triumphant pose and a smile on his face. Yeah, Sensei! Hatsaiken wa itz desu ka? Kono aho! Kurayashiki no haji sarashi! She shouts as she kicks Yuki over and over again. Anta to onaji de gehin ne? Her face goes beet red after Reika stakes. Jougai wa hottoi de! Oshiete kudasai yo! Sasuga ni chotto sono shitsumon wa mazui na. In the end, she gives in and tells us of her first experience back when she was in high school. Once she does, every guy in the room roars Ooh. happily. I bet their thirsty asses could be heard even outside the classroom. They're all supposed to be very serious, but when it comes to these things, everyone loses their shit. Matak. Says Karu, as he says. Well, that's stupid shit as if... Yuki's audibly making kissing sounds. What a disgrace he is. I answered it. Everyone answered it. So, let's go to the front. She instructs as she points at a lady sitting at the back who reacts by standing up and introducing herself right after. Everyone takes around two minutes to answer and then the amount of people who will be able to introduce themselves today is around 70-80% of the class. Really hope I don't have to do it. Well, fuck. Once the fourth subject of the day ends, lunch break ensues. Kaoru leaves the class as soon as the break starts, just like he did yesterday. And it's probably gonna be the same for the rest of the year. Nah, Kaito! Let's go to Would love to, but I don't think we can do that. Don't worry. I don't think she would like to have lunch with you very much. I guess I can ask, but don't expect anything. Pretty sure there's a lost cause, but whatever. Yucka. Sorry, dude, no can do. You're asking for the impossible. I'll go and ask her again so he shuts up. Why did you say no before? Not like you're any different from her. I know she apparently hates your ass and sees you as a rival, but you could always just show her how you can have the high ground by not caring about that. 
その必要はない。There is, though. You forcibly managed to make me do this, and I thought you were the master doing the impossible. <laughs> so, I'm <laughs> 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 こいつったらトイレが長くって。私はレイカなんかとご飯食べたくない。Someone told me that she is a two-year-old throwing a tantrum. I'd believe it. 人生の違いが食事からも出るから無理ないわね。な、なに？まあまあ、本当のことだけど。それは俺に任せてくれよ。ねえ、レイカお嬢様。騒がしくしたら、追い出すわよ。わかってるって。トーバーセルレイカステーブレイカ doesn't seem to give a damn about this, but I feel like I can't let my guard down at any moment right now. Actually, why don't you eat with Aya? You're in the same year, why wouldn't you? Hey, so this is the first year you don't. So this is the first year you don't eat together with her, huh? Says Ty, 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 as she grins with confidence. Wait, you mean son? At least he has some manners, unlike Yuki over there. No, you're not. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're t a l k i Is it just me or does she and Reika feel very similar on, in a lot of things? I could have mentioned it at some point as well. Something about hating bodyguards that took pride in their seriousness. I don't know how much you hate the guy, but I think Sun's a reliable guy and he does his job well. At least better than Yuki or I would ever aspire to. My friends call me Carl. Kaito, da yo, Kaito. So, Kaito. Aunt Tamaguchi not the Jumio Chijimero da Kayo. Ma, Reka ni tais the Tamaguchi nano Akimochi Kidasa. Nah, gotta equal treat, uh, gotta give equal treatment to everyone. I see you a Kago Tsukaina Sayo. I refuse, I don't discriminate. So you Monday Janakte. Mibun no chigai, Wakatiru. So does eh? Uh, you don't talk with, to her respectfully either. I'm using it as a chink shot. So, I'm going to get a chance 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 to get a I've never seen him like this before. His gaze is completely empty and cold. There's no light in his eyes, no glimmer of feeling whatsoever showing his true bottomed nature. I see. I treat my arms, making Yuki recoil and return to his seat. Baka na koto yatte nai de. Meshi chumon shiyo ze. My arm still hurts. Could have easily crushed it if you wanted to. I'm gonna excuse myself for a bit. I then leave the cafeteria and head to the restroom. As I do, I happen to find myself face to face with Kaoru and his client. They're leaving the cafeteria too. Hey, Kaoru, you two ate already or what? He nods a little bit. Mm. Alright, you technically can't talk unless allowed by your client. That's the thing. I heard you're pretty strong.、Mm. Sorry, but I can't do anything about it. Sayonara. Not even gonna acknowledge my existence or what? 
Man, yeah, I was hoping to see how strong you are after whooping Kaoru's ass, but I guess it's just a woman after all. Kaito! I know what I was getting into when I said that. She doesn't seem to be angry about my comment, though. I wanted to see some of her moves since Kaoru told me she practices in an ancient fighting style, but I don't think that I'll... Huh. Sense a small gust of wind grazing my nose. What was that sound you made just now for? You mean the punch you threw at me? Without showing any sort of human emotion, she just leaves. Then both her, when both her and Kaoru are gone, I turn around and check the window behind me. She cracked it with the pressure she generated from with the punch. Say as I touch the glass. So you can do this, damn! Like a punch is way faster than what any of the trainees of that promotion has ever been able to achieve so far. This Kaoru wasn't exaggerating when he said it was a big deal. I don't think she was intending to hit me with the punch, but I managed to barely evade it nonetheless. Anyways, I should go back to the cafeteria. Mata, Zuibun to soy toilet at na. Yotose, dai no hoka. Dai! I wasn't, so please stop confusing everyone. I just had an encounter with, the Kan with that Kanzaki person and we had a little chit chat. Kanzaki moe ni chokkai dashta no. Jisatsu koi ne, jisatsu koi. Kino osieta geta de sho. Yeah, something about her previous bodyguard being in a coma. Stiru, stiru! We just had a chat. I don't have any ulterior motives in mind or anything like that. Well, so now we're all a bunch of rapists? Are you wiping your hand on my clothes? Oh, come on, Yuki, do something. Am I not touching her? You okay with this? I don't think I can do that. I don't want to be able to do that. I don't talk to strangers, don't take candy from them, and don't get invited to bands. That's different! The robot is the three years. What are the ones I said? The three years. I'm not a child! She shouts as she flaps her arms with a tantrum. She's definitely a child, if only mentally. I bet you're the kind of person that just takes whatever you like whenever you see someone. That's not what you should be answering. Our lively lunch ends shortly after! <laughs> And I reject it. It's gonna be some. St it's gonna be some stupid shit anyway. Yeah, I'm 99 sure it's gonna be about girls. Terms like 100 and 0 do not exist in this world. Ah, I Isn't it? Is it that way though? Almost always. Yeah, 100% Okay, then in the 99.99% case, uh, of cases, it's true. Doesn't matter how much you complain, that's how things are. Looks like he doesn't like getting into deep conversations, seeing as he just ignored me and went back to his original idea.申し訳ないが、これから神崎様のところへ。だからさ、神崎お嬢様もレイカお嬢様も誘うんだよ。イスティープ。なんでだよ。俺も陳記者誘えばいいだけじゃん。誘いは嬉しいが、私たちはボディ
ミニアイズワイストアンドノーマルヒューマンサイテゲンの機能は果たしてるわけかイズデフィネットリストロングデンミアデニーライトイワレナクテモオッケーマイバッドまずウィルトゥーンオーマイムレフトゥーウォーエ
I want to help the cats, so I did. I want to feed the cats, so I will, I'll do it. Cats and dogs have saved my life countless times before, so... I'm not doing this as a way to pay some sort of favor, but it's more of something I feel like doing to atone for what I've had to do to them in the past. Ooh, scary. Be careful, I had a big cat beside you could jump, could, could jump and bite you at any moment now. See ya, cat's gonna be fine, so no need to worry. He doesn't look relieved at all, even after I saved the cat. Can you not call me that, thanks? You're telling me you would have left the cat on the tree too, or what? Uh, sure. Do you want to go here? Follow her as she commands me. sure. Follow her as she commands me. What is this room? Hell no, nah, we're not staying here, you get. Why are you in Kansai? It's a Kansai. It's a Kansai. It's a Kansai. Fuck off then tell, then tell me from that from the beginning. Just yesterday, didn't you tell me that if I dirtied anything in this house you'd destroy me? Ah, okay then. Don't fucking don't. Make sure it's lack uh, it's it's fucking fr lactose free at least. You sure that's okay then? So you saw me at the garden, then? She says while pouring some milk for the cat. You want? Pour her because of son, you mean? Not like anyone else heard you. Does it even matter? It's not like I matter to you. <laughs> Once we agree on something. Really, I think it's fine to do that from time to time. Speaking your mind, it's actually quite relieving once you do it. Get him, mate. That reply probably wasn't true. Okay, never mind, it is true then. I was a failure of you as a mate. That points a finger at me. Bet you wanna say I'm a failure as a bodyguard too. Even if you did, it's not like I'd give a shit. Okay, that sung a little bit. Yeah, please do. Say what? Kept serious. She's sexually attracted to me. Uh, I mean, it's not like I won't do it or anything, but... Okay, then sure, let's do it. I'm ready. What are you doing? I'm going to change the clothes. Baka! You read the second script line, Tsuki. I don't understand. I don't want to go. Let me stop with this. I'm not the kind of person that say those things. It's disturbing. I'm a bit... Indan. Okay. Could be for real, but who knows at this point. I'm not gonna keep this up and to try and find out in any case. Of course I did. I'm probably better with your lies. Tsuki, where's the teleprompter? I want to read what's on it too. If I can be able to what are your shooting range prize now? Can I really? Part of me feels like she's one of those kinds of girls that likes to be dominated. Probably because of the fact that she's teasing me all the time. Ah, embarrassing you for a change is something quite nice to say. I say as I move my face closer to her and look at her straight in the eyes. Best that spot just for you. Hey. Sting. Ouch! She pulled the hair from my face by force. After all that sweet talk I did, and this is how she thank. After all the sweet talk I did, and this is how she thanks me. Huh, I must admit that even though you're normally roasting me, you, are, you having these kinds of moments is actually quite li uh, uh, something I quite like about you. Huh? Your face goes beet red. 
Every time I knee you, I can feel my heart beating faster. She asks as she looks at me with puppy eyes. Huh? I mean, yeah. Wait, my heart's beating fast, super fast right now for some reason. Ah! Screams that quickly make some distance between us. Motherfucker, you freaking temptress! She had me go in there for a bit. I was freaking close. No rival for you, time for me to go. Looks like the word shame doesn't exist in her dig uh, dictionary, so why even try? She seems like the kind of girl that doesn't mind hanging around with other guys. Stop seeing her as a woman from now on. Soft! What light through yonder window breaks! It is the east, and Juliet is the sun! Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where art thou, Romeo? What the fuck is happening? Shogik! Oh, there! Wait a sec! Can you stop entering my room without making any noise? I can't even feel like your presence when you enter, so for the love of God. Yeah, nice excuse. It's just as I said the first time we met, I can barely feel her presence at all. I don't know how she does it. This is the first person that has managed to get near me without me noticing in the Oh, Romeo! Nice try, but it's where for art thou, Romeo, not why do you have to be Romeo. I, I like saying the lines of the books I like out loud. Any problem with that? What the fuck's up with that stupid posh language of hers out of the blue? I'll butcher these famous lines in any case. I don't believe her, but uh, do I have any other choice? Anyways, why did you come here? So you came here just to poke some fun at me? First person who has had the balls to make fun of me like this. True. Why would I be? It means some dust, yeah, I saw. And then again, I could see me mean, mean that in another way, like referring to my pride. Thanks, I guess. Do I? No, I don't. I really don't, for real. If you don't want me to TKO you, then don't do that again. She then sits on my bed, not caring about even asking me. <laughs> She's in front of me, and even then, I have issues detecting any her presence. It's so faint. Are you actually a spirit bound to this mansion or something? That's the only explanation I can think of for her, like, her presence. Maybe she's just a spirit that roams the house because she left something undone in her previous life. <laughs> Fucking cleaning. <laughs> like, ah yes. She 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 has left the cleaning fucking undone. And every time she's finished, some other speck of dust falls down. It's like Why does this place have to be so fucking huge? They added some more onto it. I will never pass on. I'm sorry, I guess I stretched it too far. <laughs> Kazuo, Muneko. Name somewhere before, somewhere else. Ah, soro soro shakuji no jikan. Not gonna cook today either. Meido wa ryori shinai. We should be able to if you want it though. Be able to clean and cook that make it the perfect wife material right here, right there. Tozen. Damn, I see. She then stands up. Yeah, let's. Is it? Well, I'm sorry about that again. Smile. I mean, at some point, I'm gonna get used to your bullying. You can actually speak normally, though. Like a girl your age for once. Which means you're younger than me too. Respect your eldest kid. Oh. Hey, stop it. That's disgusting. I instinctively cringe when I hear that. She looks like a kid that has found a new toy to fiddle with. Ah, my ears are bleeding! Sorry, okay? I apologize, so please stop it! Ah! 
You're implying we should kill the master? You want us to get fired that quickly or what? Yeah, yeah, you sure got your ass covered, you whore. Yeah, 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 Looks like he doesn't like her at all. He didn't even look at her when she greeted him. Looks like you got yourself a hater. Yeah, right, she definitely cares. Just look at her face. Ah, uh, whatever, I just want to eat already. Please stop. You're telling me that is already creeping me out. It's dinner time. Most of the people working in the mansion, including the maids and butlers, are at the table right now. The only ones who are not eating with us are Tsuki and the Nikaido family. After dinner, only a handful of people remain working in the mansion. I wish I could explain it in a better way, but nobody's making any sort of conversation while they eat. No one's silent. And sometimes hear small conversations pop up, but they're always work-related. Nothing so freaking formal, geez. Okay, Cap Navius. Maybe I should. Yeah, right, as if it would. Which means that whenever she wants, she can just get rid of me like any other asset. I swear this guy says the most tedious shit sometimes. You better treat me to lunch one day for this. I wasn't expecting that either way. Sadaka Kocho, Scosi Yoroshi Desca. Nanda. Naze Kaito Nankani Kamoundis. Damn, not beating around the bush, I say. Say Sekimo Sokomo Arunoni. Yatara to Kabano. Echibuno Sensei got an idea. Anata go in the Kaito Sinku Sastatomo Kikimas. Oh, my Hodono Dokoga. Was our man you care no cap. So you are kid of Arimasenga. Son has been extremely salty ever since I became Reika's bodyguard. He legitimately sees me as a friend. Because he's not I'm heading to the bathroom right now, per Tsuki's orders. And like our meals, not everyone can get into the bathroom at the same time, and each person takes their own time to bathe as well. Therefore, my time to bathe is gonna be different every day. Who's gonna be in the bath? The bathroom is also a literal bathroom, no toilets. It's quite the different, and it's quite the distance from the dining hall. In a normal house, the bathroom and the toilet wouldn't be that separated. But in this gigantic mansion, they're quite far apart from each other. Now it's her here, alright. I hear voices from the dressing room inside. Next to the men's bathroom is the women's bathroom. Next to the women's bathroom is the exclusive bathroom for the Nikaidos. Can't really see anyone working here, mistakenly mistaking the bathrooms either. In any case, I enter the men's bathroom, undress and get a business. Get to business. It's the first time I see it, but this bathroom is gigantic. Any other public bathhouses don't even come close to this. There's always so a sauna, and apparently the water that's used to fill the baths originates from the famous onsen outside the prefecture or something like that. There's a lot of people working here, use. maybe the ladies bathing money or something. I don't really like the idea of money bathing, but who knows? Maybe it's something I could get used to eventually if I did. Mm, that prideful tone must be Reika. Sounds like she's out of the bath too, seeing that her hair is still wet. You bathe around this time too? Bathing money, by the way. Satsuburo? That, nothing. Sorry, I spoke out my imagination right there. What? In a way, I suppose. Just made me realize you guys really waste money on a lot of pointless shit. Expensive food, the baths, everything else. Uh, I mean, I suppose I'd buy the things I like and eat whatever the hell I want. I guess you have a point. 
what about a meant is like is there a need to spend on the people who work here as well or just spend the bare minimum on us and be done with it what's that金持ちは見えっぱりだからよ。第三者に対しても私は金持ちだって言いたいの。廊下に飾ってる皿や壺がいい例ね。いや、でもディフィネットリーアーフレックス。貧乏人には分からない美意識よ。いや、ディフィネ
どうしたのその顔もしかして誰かにでも襲われた That's just say I got lured in by the call of the wild. 何それ何でもいいけど仮にも私のボディーガードなら身だしなみにも気をつけなさい。スクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリブスクリ Way these are phrased, just shave it like a normal person. No, fuck it, go wild. Why not? <laughs> uh, shave it like a normal person. Okay, shaving noises. Doesn't sound good. Didn't have much hair to shave in the first place. More shaving noises. I guess it'll do, yeah. Scribble, 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 scribble. Surprise test. Our homeroom teacher, Hiragi, suddenly busted into the class this morning and said we'd have it just like this. Like, like That was her excuse for it. Everyone seems to be extremely focused on the exam, both ladies and bodyguards. There are some notable exceptions to this. Reika and Kaoru, who are sitting near me, look more focused than the rest as they continuously write. They'll probably get very good grades for sure. Then we have Yuki, sitting somewhat further away. He's pretty strong, but he compensates that by being stupid. And judging by the difficulty of this test, I can see him getting a very low score. There's a faint trail of smoke coming out of his head. The Kurayashiki girl, his client, who is sitting beside him, is also a standout. Has her arms around her head. You can see her throwing the pencil around. Every time she does, she writes something, followed by throwing the pencil around again. She ra she's randomly filling out the answers based on how the pencil falls, I see. Just another idiot like Yuki. Can't see anyone else standing out apart from the ones I already mentioned. What should I do about my exam now? Questions are very difficult. These are all things that we studied back in the training facility last year. I could try hard, I didn't get a perfect score if I wanted, but. I could answer, also answer seven questions correctly out of the 20 and leave it at that. I'll randomly fill the rest of the blank. That way I won't stand out and nobody will question my score. It'd be a pain if I suddenly got good grades just like that. Hi! So, test will cost us, eh? So, let's do the test will you mean I take a テイスの低かった子は次から頑張るようにちょちょっと待ってよどうしたのこ別にテストを返すならともかくみんなの前でテイスを読み上げるなんてありえないそそうだそうだタエの頭が悪いのがバレるだろうみんファンファクト I mean, fact They actually aren't allowed to do that technically I'm pretty sure Like, it's fine if the students tell each other the scores, but the teacher isn't allowed to just, te like, say the scores out loud in front of the class. Because, <laughs> at least that's the way in Germany, technically. Some just they still do it, technically, for the good grades, at least. They never mention the bad ones, because uh, no one cares about the good grades, but if it's the bad ones, technically, that's a breach, breach of privacy. Pri pri private information, I think. うるさいなあだそういえばこの学園って原則で禁止なんだっけ私は別に she says as she giggles to herself with a prideful look on her face. それもそうね。納得してくれたみたいね。黒屋敷大佐、15点。何発表しちゃってんのよ。え?だって自分は公開してもいいって。she then looks at Reika. <laughs> looks like she's happy about Taya's score. <laughs> now you, the moment you give okay, the okay. Hmm. Pencil colored and wrote the answers. Only the answer was true. Looks like she saw Taya as well while the exam was going on. So basically, it's as if she got a straight zero. How did she even manage to pass to the C? 
Maybe the concept of repeating a year doesn't exist in this school. I can see her paying her way to pass as well. その程度の問題なら当然ね。と、とまたまえんぴつを転がして正解しただけでしょ。なんやだ。こんなったらボディーガードの点数で勝負。先生、勇気の点数はえっと、あら、すごいじゃない。マジっすか。クレヤスキさ
took he enters my room as she tends to do at this time uh, every at this time every day recently. I'm sitting on a chair as I watch the amount of uh, documents she is carrying. I take the documents she brought and skim through them as I usually do every day. She's still trying to find out about his fucking past. I'm frustrated at this point. At the same time, deep within, I can't help but feel extremely excited about this. I can't help but feel extremely excited about this. I can't help but feel extremely excited about this. I'm part of the Nikaidos, after all. My family is one of the most prominent in the whole country. We have quite the amount of intelligence assets at our disposal. She's always been an amusing girl. Again, I probably would have gone mental if she had been any other maid. Well, maybe I should have worded that differently. I'll try my damnedest not to talk because I already know like one story beat that's got something to do with Tsuki. I have no other choice but to ask him directly. He's another dead end in itself. I'm not gonna find anything else about Kaito in external means. は今私の手元にある資料があんたの知ってる全て忘れてたとか記入漏れだったとか三つもない言い訳は聞かないわよすみません一つ忘れておりましたクイックリー says once I finish my sentence Chris is in full for it その資料には載っていないことなのですが彼、朝霧海斗は私が訓練校に推薦しました I knew it. Besides the document that were provided to me by Satake, I only found one more detail through external means. That was what he just told me. That he was the one who brought Kaito into the academy. You know, I thought I'd be able to catch him with that piece of info if he tried to deny things further. <laughs>質問には答えできません。どうして？私も知り得ないことだからです。そんなはずないでしょ。子供だって騙せないわよ。それじゃ。どこの誰かも知らない人間。天下の連王学園に入学させるわけがないじゃない。隠す理由は何？たかだか学生の一人じゃない。それにボディーガードをそばに置くのは過去を知っておくことは必要なことなの。
私はあらかじめ確認いたしました彼がどこの誰でありどんな経歴でも気にしないですか気が変わることだってあるしそこを責められる理由もないわ私がプリンシパルで彼がボディーガードである限りね彼は信用に足る男ですならその証拠が欲しい、うん、あいつとの間に何があるのこれが集められた資料ですかそうよ資料を見せていただいても好きにしなさいもっとも大したことは載ってないけどね確かに霊華お嬢様のおっしゃることは正論です意見させていただいてよろしいですか言ってみなさい世の中には知るべきことと知らざるでいるべきことがあります<笑>後者だと言いたいわけ私に質問を投げかけたのはお嬢様が初めてではありません訓練校では私が彼を推薦したことを知る教師が何人かいますのでけれどその度に同じことを言いました彼について語ることは何もないと He's wearing sunglasses so I can't peer into his eyes to read him I'm not gonna be able to read his thoughts anyways he's a duck after all 拒まれれば拒まれるほど人ってどんどん欲求に駆られていくのよね私はたどり着くわよそこに何もなかったとしてもどんな手を使ってでもね探求心を抑えられない方だ謎を謎のままにしておくのが気持ち悪いだけ止めはしませんあなたが資産家として生まれて以上何をなさってもたどり着けないでしょうからどういうこと<笑>私にはあなたを止める権限はありませんがいざとなればやめさせることもできます面白いことを言うじゃないいくら父と長い付き合いだとしてもあなたが私に命令できるとでも言うのあなたが犯した滞在それを公表してもえ耳を疑う発言でまさか脅される日が来るなんて誘拐を経験したと思ったら今度は脅し私の人生も愉快ねもちろん私の独り言にすぎませんがその独り言を他の誰かに聞かれてしまうこともあるかもしれないということですあんたのことは嫌いじゃないでも私に盾つこうって態度は気に入らないわ申し訳ありませんですが霊華お嬢様のためですひとまずは手を引くあいつのことを調べさせるのはやめるわ You told everyone where I brought that girl from. She'd. Arigato, go say mas. Then, oh boy, to Kina say. What does she want? Akira meta waki janai car. Ha. Sagat the Iwa. Sleep it as mas. I kind of don't want to end it here. I'm having fun. <laughs> Fuck it a little bit more. The clouds are passing calmly and the wind feels pretty good. If I lie down in the garden right now, I bet I'd fall asleep in an instant. Well, I can do that, unfortunately. I'm the bodyguard of the most amazing lady, after all. That voice is coming from above me. Don't take one step further towards me unless you want, to, want me to see her on the way. Damn, that's an issue. Okay, then let me ask you one question. Why are you defying the laws of gravi gravity right now? You're floating. I'm not sure if you're floating. I'm not sure if you're floating. 
かりと芝生で横になってるからね yeah, so that's what it was. そろそろ起きなさい Give me a hand, please. He says I extend one of my arms towards her. よっぽど死にたいらしいわね。Chill, Rick, aren't we friends, you and I? と奴隷、人間と犬。I'm、not a slave and much less of a dog. Woof. After having that short trade of wits, I eventually stand up on my own. 別に堅苦しいことにこだわりたくないし、私自身そんなに気にかけることでもないけど、お父様や偉い人間の前では、それなりに振る舞いなさいよ。私を呼び捨てにするのも現金。ああ、そういうわけで、call your lady Rekka from now on? 呼びたいの ?No, not really. だから、とがめてないのよ。でも、他の人間の前では気をつけなさい。あんたの脆い首なんて、すぐに飛ぶわよ。I'd really like to say that I would love to get fired, but I don't want you to shoot daggers with your eyes at me, so whatever. あんた病気持ってるの I'm not. Stop looking at me so seriously. Sweep my own shoulders, making something fall to the ground. さあ行きましょう。カイトと同じ空気を吸ってると体を害します。そ、それでは、失礼します。Both the men to the car and head towards the school. 相当下に見られてるわね。Pretty amusing, right? ええ、そうね。Why is everyone so cold this morning? Like, damn. Should get going too. I'm not a good good stetter, that get a show. Oh, hey, oh, Nina. To the end, that get a correct at Tice at Nahanasio, Sukara. Tokuni, you soon a bodyguard or Mezazo Hitotachimane. She's not as cheerful as she usually is. What happens? I'm not a good 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 g o 彼女たちのそばに付き添いどうだったちょっとした感想でいいの答えてみて、like like、はい毎日が緊張の連続ですいつどこでどんな状況にも対応できるスキルを身につけたことが早くも実践で感じられていますこれからも確固たる意志を持ってプリンシパルの警護に努めたいと思っておりますいや、そうパパスね。とても、クライアント、seem to be pretty proud of what he just said。イラギー、スマイルバック、without saying anything else。なんじゃ、あなたはどうただ一人、別の学年のプリンシパルを任されたわけだけど。はい。私も、彼の意見に近いものを感じています。そう。She returns a smile to Kyoto just as you did to that guy before. じゃあ、最後に、アサギリ君。I want to die. <laughs> ごめん。面倒なら同じこと言っときなさいよ。それで褒められるなら。Thanks for cancel smarty pants. She's right. That'd be an easy way to go through this, but uh, I mean to be brutally honest with you, it's not like anything special has happened so far. 何も。Like it's been pretty boring and tedious every day so far. 本当にバカかも。いくらなんでも、それは霊化お嬢様に失礼だ。それに、僕らボディーガードに対してもね、落第寸前だったからって。ちょっと意識が堕落しすぎてるんじゃないか ?Everyone then starts laughing at me.The only one who isn't even smiling is the teacher. どうして退屈だったか理由はあるの聞いても無駄ですよ、先生。That's right, whenever something really serious happens, you'll only end up dying.You say that you're tense every day, don't make me laugh. 意味わかんないんだよ、カイト。I bet you know what I mean, instructor Hiragi. できれば。あなたの口から聞いてみたいわね。Sorry, but you're the teacher, not me. そう。ありがとう。座っていいわ。しかし、このままでは僕らへの侮辱を許すことに。<笑>いいから、いいから。今、先生は嬉しいのよ。She's grinning now. Quite a different reaction compared to the two answers she just had. 私のクラスから、理解者が一人もいないままだったら、ちょっとどうしようか考え物だったからね。It's not like the others are wrong. They're still in the honeymoon phase for their new assignment. Kaito, Kimi ga nani o itte ru no ka? 
ここは蓮王学園通う女子生徒は一流企業の娘さんたちだけ犯罪者から見たらごちそうのレストランってところねだけどあなたたちのような屈強なボディーガードがたくさんいて周囲には幾重にも張り巡らされた警備システムそして数多くの人員たちに守られているわ町にしたってそうよこの町は今の日本の中でも指折りに安全な地域なの。それくらい熟知しています。なら、そんな鉄格子に守られた空間で、あなたたちはどんな緊張感と危機意識を持ってるっていうの？え、朝の送り迎え、学園での移動教室の間、そんなところに本当の危険が潜んでるって。<笑>あなたたちはいつから一流のボディーガードになったっていうのまだ資格も称号も与えられていないあなたたちが本当に死ぬわよそんなこと言ってちゃあなたたちは厳しい訓練を乗り越えた優秀な子たちよでも忘れちゃいけないのはまだまだ学ぶ立場にいるっていうことなの確かにこの学園が確実に安全だとは保証できない緊張感を適度に持つことも大切だと思うそれでも勘違いだけはしないであなたたちはこれから経験していくんだから Yuki, よく気づいたわねヤサギリくんああ君に教えられる時が来るとは思わなかった悔しいがお前の言う通りだったやるじゃない I think this is the first time I've had everyone look at me Ah、uh, that wasn't my reason to say Legit just thought that these days would be like nothing else really much else to do だってこのまま真相に気づいたら死ぬってあれは危機意識を間違った方向に持ってたからってことなんじゃないの I'll repeat, I said these last couple days have been a drag, nothing else. Isn't there a famous saying that goes along the lines of boredom can kill a man or something like that? He's, he's like, oh fuck, accidentally said something actually meaningful on accident. Gotta immediately reset myself as the dumbass. <laughs> She doesn't hide her astonishment. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. Poor lass. All of her cheerfulness is gone now. I'm going to go to the printer. I'm going to go to the printer. He says in a languid tone as she starts distributing the papers. I look at the one she gives to me. There's a lot of text and a single image. The image shows a small golden insignia. So, I'm going to go to the printer. The printer is a 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 printer. Just as she said that, just as she said before, it looks like everyone's excited again. So, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. She explains as she starts giving out fake badges, noticeably different from the real ones represented in the image. A certain. No, it's golden and made of plastic. And now I get what it was all about. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 そして肝心なのはそれぞれが必ず同じ位置につけることどの位置かはプリントにずれ示してるわペーパーインディケーツはバッジに入れられるのは必ずフラッシュスポットに入れられるのは必ずフラッシュスポットに入れられるのは必ずフラッシュスポットに入れられるのは必ずフラッシュスポットに入れられるのは必ずフラッシュスポットに入れられるのは必ずフラッシュスポットに入れられるのは必ずフラッシュスポットに入れられるのは必ず They're giving out these to put even more pressure on each other. Each of them, they're going to put it on each other. 
右利きだとか左利きだとか関係ないのにも気をつけて。There's still some people in the class that haven't realized the situation we're in now, from now on, but the majority already knows. Kaoru is already placing his badge on the spot. Is this the answer? Is it okay? Is it okay? Oh, I'm sorry. This is the reason for this reason. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. Yes, that following your lesson prior teaching us not to be tense all the time. They begin to make us as this to make us feel somewhat of a bit. This is what I want to say. No one seems to be as excited as they were before. I can hear people gulping. I don't think there's the big, that big of a deal. Police officers wear their badges with them all the time, and there's no different from that. It's just something that defies what they are, defines what they are, but what we are, nothing else. Quickly replies the guy, his, quick, his cheeks flushed as he caresses his shoulder. Did she answer this question or is he just too stupefied by her, I wonder? She murdered his client right now? He just, he just doesn't know yet. Nothing. What was once before a swarm of raised hands had quickly turned into nothingness. It doesn't seem like even half the bodyguards still consider themselves even trainees, considering how they look. She's looking at me. Shit, I'll look away. But it's not time yet. It's time to go. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. He definitely has a crush on her. He says uh, as she hands him his badge. He shouts as he hurriedly moves his hand to touch his uniform's nape, realizing his badge is not there anymore. What she did just now definitely activated the spidey senses of those who were still confused about the situation, driving them to be on edge. How ironic that they're placing more value to these plastic things than the real badges. It's not only an ornament, though. It's something that is designed to boost our pride and resolution towards our duty. Can't even imagine what would happen if I lost it. It's also a good way to add pressure onto us. But then again, I don't think it'll change anything in the long run. But this is it. You're taking this too seriously, dude. It's just a piece of plastic pretending to be a badge. It's not gonna change how I act on my day to day at all. Pretty way for you to pay me a visit so suddenly. So I thought you'd be too busy training the first year cadets. But you are That's the thing, yeah. Replies are showing the badge on the neck of my new of my uniform. Of course I'm not. In fact, I wouldn't give two shits if you took it from me and threw it somewhere else right now. Why? It's not about what? What's your point? Dan-na-sama-kara-hitotsu-kadai-ga-deta. Get it stolen, you said. Don't give a damn enough about a plastic bag, a badge like this one to steal it. It's not even the real deal. If you don't have a bodyguard, you won't have a bodyguard. If you don't have a bodyguard, you won't have a bodyguard. If you don't have a bodyguard, you won't have a bodyguard. And when you come back, so basically, you're not gonna tell me why you said people would steal it from me. I'll admit that ever since I enrolled at this academy, I've always felt observed. It looks like I was right after all. He's as expressionless as ever. Doesn't seem surprised by what I said. Half a year, maybe. If I'm lucky this entire year. I think that's how long it's gonna last. For a while, everyone will be on edge, which means that they'll be more ready for anything that comes and will react better to all the situations. 
That won't last very long, though. Just putting our skills and competency, competency to the test. If people try to stay on edge for too long, they'll eventually start wearing themselves out, and that'll mean they'll be easy targets. And it would lower the guard if the day of the day consists of the same old, same old. Naruhodo, no. Besides, even if you have people observing us, they won't be able to see if you're good or not just by looking at us. So, I don't know if I'm hitting the nail on the head or not, but he's the headmaster of the academy. Even if you wanted to tell me, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't be able to. Gotta go back to my room now. Ah, you could yes me. Feel so tired. I'm too insanely cool, so there must be an equal force trying to put me down. Newton's third law, was it? I, was, I want to shout out uh, what I have on my mind so badly. Actually, fuck it, I'm doing it. Just watch me, I'm staying as cool as ever. You can skip watching that part. I don't know how many times I have to tell you, but next time, you could try knocking on the door before entering. Short fuck off, I didn't call for you. You lack all manners of tact. Don't be a bad thing. Don't go to that place. But I'm going to be a bad thing. Why are you talking so casually to me? We're not friends or anything like that. I want to be friends. Oh, thank you so much. You're so thoughtful. I'm so thankful to her. Legit tearing up right now. I've been doing a good job. You helped me shed my skin, Master Tsuke. Can't you notice that I want to fucking murder you right now, huh? Actually, just get away from me, Shushu. What did she even come here for in the first place? Did you just come just to fuck around with me? All me would have argued her into silence with pure facts and logic. Too bad I've mellowed out quite a bit over the past year. I have this hunch. Just be my imagination, but I can't help but feel that my every day is gonna get crazier as the days pass. Honestly, I wouldn't mind that. I'd love it if adding some spice every day could result in my new every day. Life where I don't even have the time to stop and think. So I accepted to be here, hoping for those days to arrive. Oh, we got we got opening. Second opening. Terrible sound quality. Together, apparently. It's always angel mode. Yeah, we get second opening. I'm starting to feel like this is like a very bad thing to watch, so I'm just gonna skip it. <laughs> Like those those two th scenes they showed in that opening just immediately gave me oh no fuck vibes <laughs> like ah yes abort <laughs> whoops. <laughs> By the way, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the one. See you next time. Bye bye. I don't know why I said it like that. Just ignore that. Bye.